All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. I hope my voice is coming good and clear. Uh, please let me know if you have any difficulty from your side, and please invite your friends. Uh, <clears throat> I just made a video actually, and I posted it on Facebook. So if you are a subscriber to my Facebook, you can go and watch it there. And this is made for Brother Samsi. Samshi. Desperately, they are trying to defend how their God he pray. Um, <clears throat> I feel sorry for them and the damage made by uh, uh, Muhammad hijab it cannot be repaired you know Islam exposed widely by his stupidity when he said the truth you know when the Quran says that Allah he pray on Muhammad and by the way our topic is about 10 things I like about Allah so we will go there, but just to share this is a little bit information here. The Muslims they try to say that this verse, speaking that Allah He sent a blessing on Muhammad, but as you notice, there is something stupid here. Something very bad happened. If Allah is sending a blessing, as they claim, then why the verse saying Allah and His angels? Because if Allah has sent the blessing, the angels do not. Who need the angels anyway? And how you say Allah and the angels both, they do the same thing. Because angels, they receive a blessing from God, the same as a human being. If I say to you, bless you, simply I am making it short. I am saying, may God bless you, because I cannot bless anyone. Blessing is... A support of God to someone <clears throat> hello okay somebody tried to call me please if you are a Christian now don't call me unless you are an ex-muslim uh, so Allah and his angels send the blessing this is the Muslim translation trying to cover up the problem if Allah sent the blessing, who need the blessing of the angels? Because all the blessing is coming from Allah, if He is God. Angels are not required no more. Believers, because He says, and ye that who believe, send the blessing, which means even Muslims are going to send the blessing. So what the Muslims can do, more than what Allah did already. If Allah already, He sent the blessing, what the angels can do, more than what Allah He did. What the believers can do more than Allah he did that is a stupid that is an insult to your God you are just saying to us that me and angels and Allah all of us we can do one thing which is sending the blessing that's mean I am God too the Muslim they try to fix it they make it blind because if you are saying that angels and believers and Allah they are showering the prophet with a blessing that's mean all of them they are gods equal gods they have equal ability to do one thing which is giving a blessing to someone guys is is my idea clear is my idea clear now they're trying to fix it remember the muslim they are trying to fix it but they make it blind they try to fix the eye of allah but they make it horrible because if Allah already he blessed somebody, it's like let's let us to make it simple for you. <clears throat> we have a guy, he is in charge of the warehouse of uh, uh, heaven. And he said to me, You are going to heaven. Then we have the same guy saying to the angels, Ask me to send him to heaven. But already you promised him to go to heaven. And then we have the warehouse guy saying that the believers should ask him to send Muhammad to heaven but already you said to send to heaven <laughs> you know what I mean if Allah already the blessing what does the blessing mean it's mean you are you are a, you are a wonderful person and I you have you have my support that's it and who is talking Allah who is the highest authority for in Islam the Muslim they claim it is Allah which is false by the way it is Muhammad so if Allah already he promised Muhammad blessing 
who need the angel blessing what the angels can do the angel themselves they receive a blessing from Allah <laughs> you know what I mean and here it says and who you believe sent a blessing too so even the Abdul normal Abdul like Shamsi he have now Muhammad is dead this is the, this is the proof that Islam is a pagan religion Muhammad is dead and yet they pray asking Allah for a blessing for Muhammad according to them but that is impossible because the guy is dead after after death there is no blessing no more so, and same time if Allah blessed him already what is the idea of asking for more blessing is it like about how uh, how, how many kilo if there is so so blessing that's it Allah blessed him if there is five stars blessing and four star blessing if Allah blessed you you are blessed so what is, what is the point of saying that okay angels and the blessing believers and their blessing and then at the table of that says and salute him with all respect now there is a guy he is an Arabic teacher he says the word here you suddenly mean salute the, the, the idiot he forgot he claimed that like he have a long hair he looked like a like a, a homo uh, 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 here the word salute is exist here so you are saying to Allah, he said, Allah, he sent salute and the angels send salute and the believers send salute and all of you salute him, salute him, salute him. They are living in a chaos because they cannot explain the stupidity of Muhammad when he said that Allah, he pray on him. Now, if you change the word, the blessing, which the Muslim, they fabricate the whole Quran. If we go all the Quran, whatever the word salah or you salli or salawat, appearing you will find always the translation is coming always at a as prayer always only when it's come to Allah the Muslim they switch it to make it blessing if you go here as an example who will let you salli alaykum who will let you salli alaykum wa okay hold on let us show you here how the word you salli getting Muhammad busted chapter 33 verse number 43 in this verse it says, Hua, Hua here, go back to Allah. Alladhi yusalli alaykum. Yusalli mean pray. The Muslim, they will exchange this to a blessing. Let us exchange. Let us go to the translation. The first translation. <coughs> here we go again. He it is who send the blessing on you and as do his angels. But look what happened here that he may bring you out of depth of darkness <laughs> he may <laughs> you receive a blessing before you go out of darkness guys look when the muslims they change they fabricate the translation look how they make the quran look so stupid because what you are saying to me that those people are in darkness and allah he blessed them before they leave darkness they are me that me you see the way me 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 what a stupid religion how you are promising them blessing before they leave from the deep darkness people they are blessed if they believe in God not before they believe in God and this is what all the Quran message is about that Allah curse those who don't believe in him that Allah will kill those who don't believe in him that Allah will burn those who don't believe in him and now you are saying to me that Allah blessing those who don't believe in him are we following people are we following do you see how this sentence here get the Abdul busted if Allah is sending a blessing here sending a blessing to who to people who don't even believe in him Because it says it clearly that he may bring you out of your depth of darkness. There's no way that the Quran here is speaking about people who they are Muslims, believe in Allah, yet they are in the deep darkness. Same time. The verse here says, it is he who sent the blessing on you and do his angels. Again, the same poopoo. If Allah is the only God, how he make himself equal to his angels? Because now both of them, they are qualified to give a blessing. According to any monotheism religion or belief, only God can give a blessing. 
unless Allah he have partners and here we see in the Muslim translation partner in the ability in the qualification because not only Allah can give a blessing angels can give a blessing based in the Muslim translations and that mean Allah and the angels both are the source of a blessing you see it doesn't say it doesn't say it is he who sent the blessing to you through his angels then that the meaning will change then right but it doesn't say that it says it is he who sent the blessing on you as do his angels as equal as it's like saying to you there is two people who know Islam very well a Christian Prince as and as CP too like because we are, we are two you know if you look at me in the mirror you will see two people so here we see the stupidity again when they try to deceive us with the word of blessing because the word of blessing made Islam clearly not a monotheism religion <coughs> so they try to save Allah <coughs> <coughs> Uh, hmm. They try to save Allah from the poo, poo he did, or let us say Muhammad. Sorry, Muhammad aka Allah. But they make it even more horrible, <clears throat> as you see. And here we have a problem, another problem in the verse. Do you see the word may? Guys, have you ever heard of a God saying may? Okay, if you send me a blessing, maybe you bring me out of deep. What maybe mean? Anybody can tell me? Maybe. So he's a blessing people, they are still in darkness, which is against the Quran. All of it, if we go in the Quran right now, just to show you some verses of Pupu. You know. Nobody can beat Muhammad with the poopoo. -poo. Those who they are in darkness, Allah He cursed them. Chapter two, verse number eighty-eight. Those who they are in darkness. They are in you know they are they are cursed by Allah chapter 2 verse number 89 the one in darkness Allah he cursed them chapter 2 verse 159 those who they are in darkness Allah he cursed them chapter 2 161 those who you know who they are in darkness Allah he cursed them chapter 3 verse 61 those who they are in darkness Allah he cursed them chapter 3 verse number 87 should we continue all those verses all 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 all, all. look imagine so if Allah he curse always those who they are in darkness how this verse here come to the conclusion that Allah huh? he sent his blessing on you I mean something here very stupid right and we can go all over the verses in the Quran it's the same story the true meaning here for the word blessing is not exist the word here is Yusalli or Salah that Allah he sent a prayer on him and that makes sense with the word may correct guys because I pray to God so may God answer me all right my prayer is not guaranteed to be answered correct this is why that's explained why the word may here is exist because here the word is he pray if the blessing received already there's no need for may for I'm blessed already do you understand me people if the word here is a blessing if this is a correct translation not a fabricated one then there is no need for the may For the one who receive a blessing of God, that's mean he is saved. You don't say I bless you when you are a bad person. 
you don't say that God blessed me because I'm a drug dealer you don't say that God he blessed me because she is a prostitute you have to repent and you have to come back to God and then you will receive a blessing the blessing is not something you receive when you are a bad person so blessing sent to you maybe that was a, does that make sense obviously it's a fabrication so what makes sense it is pray Allah he pray on you and that here expose Allah again because here it is says he, when he pray it may work he pray and the angels do so what the angels they do they pray are you following and after the prayer what we have we have me which means something is not guaranteed when God he do pray obviously this God is just a man like me because simply the, the word they pray attached to me you see if the Muslim they say the prayer of Allah is different from our prayer then there's no need for me for is God he says something if the Quran says if Allah wants something to happen he see be is going to be correct okay here we go Allah he sent the blessing what me is for and who need the angels what the angels here for what is the job of the angels and as you see it says it clearly that Allah he pray and the angels they do so the same exactly as Allah he do that's mean angels they have same ability the same as Allah or Allah so the correct translation for this that he it is who send prayer on you as do as his angels pray on you that he may bring you out and here we have a problem anyone notice there's one pro one more problem anyone there's one more problem who noticed with me let us see who's of you with a very high iq there's one more problem missing we did not cover yet anyone Who notice the he word? Thank you. What is your name? Shahara he okay. Read with me, guys. If the angels they will pray for you or even send a blessing, but at the end of the day, it is he may. So what what this angels for? <laughs> I mean, who need the angels? If it is he at the end of the day, I mean what the angels are doing here. And as long he still he cannot he is not sure because it says he may he what he may Allah talking about who about himself he may well he may be God he may be not God because obviously God he he should be sure if 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 God says something is going to be so if Allah he pray for me to be saved does that mean the prayer of Allah is not working? Let us make it fit with the Muslim translation. If Allah blessed me to be saved, are you saying to me, Muslims, that Allah, he said, may he bring you because it's not guaranteed that the blessing of Allah is functional? No, no, the he I'm talking about here is the he here, here, he, this is the problem more than the he in here in the beginning. Because what what uh, what the what the translation now made of out of it made the Quran really stupid and funny because if Allah he blessed me and then he says so hey he me okay he who there is only one only one Allah it there's there's only one Allah or there's two Allah the Muslim they will say there's only one Allah that's wonderful so if Allah he gave me blessing so what do you mean he may bring you out of darkness? I'm blessed already. I'm blessed for what reason? For being a, a bad person? I'm blessed for being a, 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 a kafir? I'm blessed for being a, a guy, his name is a Christian prince? For sure not. 
I'm blessed for being a believer. But here, as you see, those people, they are still in deep darkness. Do you see it? This is the stupidity of Islam. The most time they try to solve the problem, they always make it blind. All right. Now I think we explained this enough. And again, I made a video in in Facebook. If you are a subscriber in my Facebook, Christian Prince official uh, Facebook, you can watch the video for Brother Shamshi. Now we go back to the topic which we started the title with: Ten Things I Like About Allah. Number one, Allah is a fool. As you see, here we go. We just give you an example. Allah is certified fool. Brother Shamsi, he made a video trying to explain the verse about Allah praying on the Prophet and he chose a tabarani And he said, let me show you. We Muslims, we go by tafsir. We don't go by he said, she said. We go by tafsir. I will go to Imam at tabarani And this is what I made the video about just five minutes before I start the broadcast. I went to At-Tabarani. And guess what I found in At-Tabarani? And now Shamshi, he cannot say to us, he, do, he, can, he don't accept at tabarani because as long as tabarani and he said in the video, at tabarani he existed 360 years after the Prophet, and he know Arabic very, very well. Okay, I agree, he agree, you know, I agree, he know Arabic very well. I have to agree. Look what at tabarani explaining chapter 86, verse number 6, and you will see that brother Shamshi, he will bite his... Uh, 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 <clears throat> I don't want to say what his prophet said. Anyone remember what the prophet said? If somebody is proud about his family, tell him to go and bite the penis of your father. I'm not saying that. The prophet said that. So don't say I'm being rude. This is the quality of Muhammad. So now, Brother Shamshi, he need to explain to us as long he like a Tabarani. And he considered the tab Tabarani is his guidance of explanation. Because when you go and read a Tabarani for us to prove a point, it's mean you, ag you agree with him. And there's no question about your agreement. So I went to a Tabarani to see what he say about the chapter 86, verse number 6 and 7, which is very funny, stupid chapter in the Quran. If a Tabarani is the one you favor and you think he is the best for you to explain the Quran, well, we have a problem. This is what a Tabarani says. Explaining that Allah He says, فَلْيَنْظُرُ الْإِنسَانَ مِمَّا خُلِقَ خُلِقَ مِنْ مَا إِنْ دَافِقْ يَخْرُجُ مِنْ بَيْنِ الصَّلَاءِ الصُّلْبِ وَالتَّرَائِبِ He says, مَا أُنْدَافِقْ أو A gushing fluid, which is a supposedly sexual fluid, which is gushing and, uh, uh, and loaded and uh, uh, spread inside the women's womb, inside the women's womb. The gushing fluid go in the womb of the woman, and then he says, and it come from between a sulb what taraib. And he explained what a sulb mean, what taraib mean. Look what he said. It's meant the water of the man and the water of the woman. So the human being, you know, there's two water in Islam: water of the man, and water of the woman. <clears throat> because the water, because the baby is created from both which means the water of the man and the water of the women that's wonderful الرجل من صلبه, and the, ma, the the water of the man is coming from the backbone <laughs> and the water of the women is coming from her ribs you told me you like a tabarani right okay here we go in, enjoy a tabarani and now he said it's coming from taraib and now a tabarani is explaining to brother shamshi what a taraib mean? He says, a taraib jam o tarbiya, wahua modu ul kila da mina sodder. Wahua arba to adla and men yemna to sodder, wa arba to adla and men yusra to sodder, was ula akrama and an taraib a call, hadihi, wa wada ayedahu, ala sodrihi benethi thadiye. Let us translate. A taraib. What a taraib? Because this is where the sperm of the women is coming from, he said. It is, it is a plural name of a tarbiya. And it is the location of the necklace of the women. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I need to explain here what exactly this is mean. Give me a second. Just to show 
forget about Allah praying now I mean we have a we have a bigger bigger poo because if Allah is God should not say such a stupid thing correct forget about Allah he pray or he don't pray forget about this based on what this guy he said let's find a picture of a woman need the women showing her uh, not too much you know okay let's see <clears throat> I'm looking for a picture so we can put in the screen to show you what Allah he meant exactly and based on the interpretation of the scholars of Islam so the Muslim will not say we are making things up and this is our, you know, false interpretation. And as you see, Brother Shamshi, he is the one who chose at tabarani I mean, that's it. We are done. We solved the problem. at tabarani at tabarani Who knows better? at tabarani Who chose at tabarani Brother Shamshi. I'm trying to find a picture. Where a woman she is wearing a necklace. Hold on. Um, location of the necklace, huh? Yeah, right. What's wrong with this website? Everybody in the bikini. This is a free website give you free pictures but we want somebody dressed up <laughs> these days nobody like to dress up right yeah it's hot I have minus four outside all right let's see man all those pictures either they are not wearing a necklace or they are wearing uh, 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 covered up to the top or they are wearing almost nothing there's no so so we need to find one mean I review already like 300 pictures still we could not find one What happened girls these days they are not wearing necklace no more not even a single picture i went through they are wearing necklace because i want to show you exactly you know because he said that it's a location of the necklace and i will show you exactly what does that mean you know what it's okay but you know but i want to show you the exact location but anyway let, let us see as long we could not find we just choose any picture of a woman not a specific All right. Oh boy. Come on, just one, just one. Not even one. All right, let us choose this one. What we can do, guys. The location of the tribe. I hope the picture will come to you clear. Let me let me switch the screen. You see, when uh, uh, you you as a male and you know male and female, they are very close in the shape, right? But there is something unique about the female. Is the location here is different from the male uh let us say there's a little bit of different so what the quran is saying 
that the sperm is coming from here the location of the necklace is going to be in this area where the two ribs meet in this area here where the neck meet you know if you put your finger here between your two chest bones you know there is a place here you can you can put your your, your finger through this is exactly where the sperm of the women is coming from it is the location where the two ribs met from the top and this is what the Quran is saying and this is what is the explanation saying and obviously this is a proof to us that Allah must be God I mean, who, how Allah He knew this unless He is God? Come on, think about it. You see, if Allah not God, He will not come with such a conclusion, which is extremely scientifically correct and extremely true. You know, I I don't know how many Muslims will convert to Islam after they notice this. You know. <laughs> so now, brother Shamshi. And the brother, brother Muhammad Hijab, and the brother Shadir Naber, Naber, and the brother Zakir Naik, you know, for sure they are confirming to us, okay, Allah, you don't pray, no problem, forget about Allah, Allah don't pray. You, you know, you, you got yourself busted already in that in that field, and it's it's very hard to fix what, what is done. What happened is happened, your stupid hijab, he said, Allah, he pray for, he don't pray to, and which is, which is really not even true, because it, in, the, in, the, in the verse is there, it says, Allah, he pray on, Pray on, not really to. But Muhammad Hijab, he make it more even worse. He said, pray for. However, if Allah is God, and he says such a thing, that women have a sperm coming from this location. So what I understand from your God, Allah, which is obviously is an amazing God, that those women here, excuse me, guys, I'm not, going, I'm, not, uh, I'm not being filthy, dirty here, but I'm just to show you how stupid Islam is. This women, she have balls here. This woman, she have literally balls here. And this is exactly where the sperm is coming from. And the Muslim, they want to convince us that Allah is God. Do I need to debate about anything else? That's, that, this is Allah. Allah is saying to us where the sperm of the women is coming from. First of all, Abdul, women have no sperm. There's not even a sim, you know, one single donkey in the world except that women have a sperm. Muhammad, the prophet of Islam, because he is scientific, scientifically correct and he has a lot of knowledge, in sperm and business of a sperm he have a clinic for a sperm the woman they used to come to him and says there's a woman she came to the prophet let us call Zach and I can ask him about that hey, brother there is a woman she came to the prophet and asked him that she saw a wet dream and she was touching herself and she asked him about what she should do can you explain to us brother that brother sister this story here explain to us how expert our prophet other example a woman she saw a dream or let us say it wasn't really a dream. She was between sleeping and awake. And she saw somebody, he is totally naked. And he came to her and he started doing like brung brung. You know, you know what I'm talking about, brother. We have sister here, we cannot explain more, but you know what exactly I'm talking about, brother. And then she got orgasm. And then she looked at her panty and she knew the orgasm. And now she went to the prophet and she asked him for consultation. And as you know, the prophet is very, 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 very expert. He has 13 wives. So you can imagine how many orgasms he see every day. To the prophet, he said to her, if you do have orgasm like this, and if you see it, if you touch it, and it is yellow, you have to wash it. Thank you very much. That is science. And Dr. Zakir Naik is a doctor, remember. Now, a Muslim, he might say to us, 
well at-tabarani is wrong well at-tabarani is wrong you are the one who called for me at-tabarani shamshi okay we change the tabarani forget about the tabarani we can go to different one i mean look like all of you are wrong brother and sister brother and sister Here at Jalalain, he tried to hide, but he cannot hide it. This is verse number six. Let us go to verse number seven and see what Jalalain, Jalalain will say. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Yes? Uh, I take you in, in the chat. Sorry? I, I take you in the chat. Okay. How I can help you, my friend? Uh... There is our brother from Egypt. Yeah. He 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 want to convert to Islam. Uh, to leave leave Islam. Okay, my friend. He can call me. Just give him my debate TV account uh, in Skype. He can call me, not you. If you want, if he is serious, he yeah. can call me. I will be happy to talk to him. Okay. Okay. All right, my friend. Thank you. He no, no, guys, don't call me for those things. Things. If somebody want to leave Islam, so what? I have, I have, you know, hundreds of people leaving Islam every day. You want to call me? Call me. That's not a big deal. I mean, so what? Leave Islam? Are you going to have party? No. This is his salvation. You want to call me? Feel free. You don't want to call me? It's up to you. Read with me carefully. Issuing from between the loins of, uh, of the man and the breast of the women. So this is a Jalalain. He agree that Allah, he is very scientifically accurate and he is speaking about the sperm of the man coming from the backbone of the man and the sperm of the women coming from the backbone of the, or from the, sorry, from the ribs of the women. How that can be. All right. Any Muslim? Uh, somebody saying that you are Al Fadi, my friend. I am not Al Fadi. Who is Al Fadi? People are weird. I am Al Fadi. Is missing to say to me, I'm David Wood. What's wrong with people? Can't even recognize voices. Listen carefully. Don't send me, please, text messages to my Skype if it's silly. I have a I have a topic as you see you are disturbing me from my topic text me only only if it is really necessarily and call me only if you have something to do with the topic and only when I say Christians they can call first of all I say Muslims call unless you are an ex Muslim you can call me anytime or you are a person who decide to leave Islam all right All right. Um. Now, you see, if God is God, God, he will not do such a poo as we see in the front of us in the screen. Now we can change all the interpretation of the Muslims. You will see all of them, they agree in one thing, that Allah here is speaking about that there is a sperm coming, gushing fluid, coming from the backbone of the man and the front, the ribs of the women. And as we said, we showed you that this is the location of the necklace of the women. This is alone is enough to prove to us that Allah cannot be God. All right? That guy from Egypt is blocked by me. So, you know, not need me anyway if you want to leave Islam he leave Islam who care guys don't don't fall into the trap of the Muslims if somebody want to leave Islam do he need me you do not need me okay leave Islam you see we, we don't do what the Muslims do we don't have a show here oh brother he will leave Islam Allahu Akbar I'm a brother he left Islam in the Christian Prince life I don't care if you leave Islam, leave Islam. So just say in the text, say Muhammad is an evil, he's a devil, and I accept Jesus the Messiah as my savior. And then go and read the Bible and practice and ask the any minister to baptize you, and that's it. You do not need a Christian prince. I did my part. 
all right so stop asking me about unblocking somebody let him go hello hello yes go ahead Christian Prince yes this is me my friend go ahead uh, okay uh, I'm Sai Manuel I'm calling from China all right and I am a Christian but I am a follower of your show I like your show I have been wondering how I could actually get in contact because I'm uh, a new in the field of Christianity so maybe I would by following on Skype or Instagram, I could get some posts or get more information from you. All right, my friend, just uh, uh, follow our live broadcast and feel free to ask me questions if you have any. Um, there's nothing, you know, I mean, contact me is not really important unless you want to have a question. If you have a question, let me know. I will be happy to help you. But just be in YouTube, watch. We show the reference, we show everything, and listen to how we answer Muslims, we answer even non Muslims. And you will learn all right okay okay, okay. My friend. thank you very and there is a there's a brother you can uh, you know if you want to learn from the Bi bible because my topic here is about islam but if you want to learn the bible you can go to brother sam shamoon he have a show in uh, in youtube you can join his class he teach the bible and there's many other questions actually you can join them and they will be happy to answer your questions but feel free to call me anytime if you have a question all right and i'm happy to okay. hear that's uh, I was in China before, you know, and I hope soon I will go, you know, again to China to, to do some teaching there. Okay. Thank right. you very much. Take care, my friend. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. All, right. All right. We go back to our topic. Uh, Now, in the front of you, I have a challenge for the Muslims. You see, I don't want to show you that we are picking something stupid, Allah, he said. But however, as long as Allah, he said that, it means Allah cannot be smart. Correct? As long as the one who said this in the front of us is Allah, then the Muslim, they cannot claim that Allah is a smart God. You see, the Muslims believe that every word in the Quran is from Allah. If you ask the Christians or even the Jews about the Bible, they will say, no, the Bible is not written by God. The Bible written by man. Human being like me and you. Prophets or even there is a stories in the Bible. It's a, it's a book of history about God and man. As simple as that. So in the Bible, we have stories about people who did bad things. In the Bible, we have stories about people reporting normal things like this person. He have horses. He have etc. It's not necessarily God is talking. There is God there and there's man. They are talking here. We have 100% supposedly God talking. So a Muslim, he cannot say this is was a mistake of uh, of uh, Muhammad. Same time. They cannot even use that mistake because the Muslim believe that everything Muhammad he say it is an inspiration from God. If we go in the Quran, we will find the following: Muhammad he claim, you see Muhammad he he fabricate verses in the Quran, claiming that everything he say is an inspiration from God. It's a, it is not inspiration actually. It is just a, 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 a it's revelation. It's more than inspiration. وَمَا هُوَ إِلَّا وَحْيٌ you know this is what the Quran says about Muhammad words in huwa illa wahyun yuha chapter 53 verse number 4 everything Muhammad he say it is inspiration from God we can go right now and check the interpretation and you will see this what it means 53 4 let's do it 53 4 Do you see it? Everything is inspiration from Allah. It's revelation. Muhammad, he said nothing. He speak nothing of his own.
So the Muslim, he cannot say to us that this is a, was a mistake made by uh, someone. This is coming from directly from Allah. All right. Now, I have a challenge to the Muslim Abduls who they are watching us. Who is the Muslim want to show me something smart Allah he said? Look at this challenge. I challenge the Muslim Abdul to show me one smart thing Allah he said. Just one. Just one. Who want to show me a smart thing? You see, I'm not going to show you only stupid things Allah he said. I want to see the smart things. Maybe Allah he said something smart. Because I am trying to prove to you that Allah is 100% fool, not 90%. And this is why I am challenging the Muslims to call me and to show me one smart thing Allah he said. Guys, is that a fair challenge? Is that a fair challenge? I believe that Allah is 100% fool. I want the Muslim to call me and to show me that I am wrong. Allah at least he have 10% intelligence. Or if you can show me 100% smart, that's that's impossible because already we showed you how Allah say that women have a sperm coming from their ribs. And this is why I'm still single. You know, I'm afraid that one day I will go to the house, so like, you know, I, I, I bring my bride with me and she take off her clothes. And then when she is naked, instead of seeing that she have a breast, I, I find that she have a breast testicles. I don't want to get that. I mean, that's just really scary, disgusting. What I will do then? Send her back home? Divorce her? As long as Allah is teaching us that women, they have a breast testicles, well, all of us men, we have to think twice and three times and five times before we get married. This is very dangerous. By the way, now we know where is the weakness of the women. So if you have a fight with the women, you see the women they have your weakness they hit you there right so now you know where to hit them i'm just joking don't hit women ever any abdul hello you see this is what what is good about what we do here in the internet as you see, people from China, people from Indonesia, from Korea, from Thailand, from everywhere, they are listening. That's wonderful, right? And people are learning the stupidity of Muhammad and the stupidity of the false Quran. Yet the Muslims, they claim that the Quran is a book of science. Hello? Hello? Okay, why they call me if they want to talk? I don't know. Mystery. Don't call me, please, unless you want to talk. If there is one Muslim want to call me and tell me one thing smart about Allah, just one. You see, if I go right now and search in the in the uh, <clears throat> in the Prophet Google, peace upon him, peace upon him, we will find tons of Muslim websites. Is speaking about scientific miracles and the Quran. Let us search for some Quran miracle. And then, if we examine those, what the Muslims call the miracles, we will find all of them they are shish kebab. Look how many look 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 if, if, if all of this in the Quran all of this the speed of light the vision the volcano the Pharaoh the mummy the sinkhole extreme explosion spider web mountains age of universe human embryo internal wave milk uh, brain functions brain functions hold, hold on hold on hold on hold on Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's that's something. That's something. The Muslim Allah He found how the brain function. Oh, I mean, I'm really interested, guys. Do you want me to check this one? Let us vote. Who wants me to check at the, the brain function one? 
I am a person who like the brain because here we see the intelligence of Abdul. What do you think? Should we go to the brain function or we choose something else? Should that should let it go or we go to the brain function? Tell me, guys, tell me, tell me, please. What do you want? Which one you want? Whatever you want, I will go. Brain function. All right. I told you 1,000 times that we are Arab. We are stubborn. If you say to us, yes, we say no. Come on, don't you learn? We are Arab. We don't go by democracy. Okay, most of you now, you say the brain function. Me as an Arab, I cannot accept. Brother Tatar. Now you force me to do the opposite, brother. I cannot take the brain function. Okay, I'm just going, just, just, just kidding with you. Okay, go ahead. Brain, brain function. And look at the art, man. Brain functions. The frontal part of the brain handle lies. If, 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 if. Are you sure? Hold on, hold on. Somebody make me some tea. This is really messed up. I'm really man by the way guys I notice each time I lie uh, because I am a Christian Prince and the Muslim they keep saying to me you are a liar so I, obviously I lie a lot so each time I lie brother I feel like the front of my head is acting differently mm. this is in the Quran in the Quran the frontal part of the brain handle lies let us see that for centuries it was thought that the frontal part of a human brain handle vision simply because it's near the eyes if, if, if. today today we know that this is false this part that handle vision turn out to be the rear of the brain see the image da -da 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 -da. in the front part of the brain is called perforonal per vortex excuse my english guys and responsible for connecting lies connecting lies look at this first of pathological liars have more for the, for the white matter oh, okay ah now we know what is inside the head of muhammad okay continue liars show relatively widespread increase of the white matter 23 to 36 percent okay now let's go let us cut the crap let us go to the verse and here the verse chapter 96 verse number 16 a lying sinful forehead unbelievable guys i am in trouble i am really in trouble I mean, what we would do now? We said we challenged the Muslim to show us one one thing smart. Allah, He said, and supposedly we were sure and look like we are not sure. Let me get you Abdul busted, as usual. If we go to chapter ninety six, verse number sixteen, and we will do it live in the front of everybody. Da -da 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 -da. Oh boy, I'm sure the Muslims they love me. Do you love me? Do you? Do you? <laughs> Guys, what is the sinful for luck mean? Somebody translate to me what for luck mean. Do you see how they lie? The Quran speak, the Nasriya, the Nasriya is the hair of the front of the head. What the verse saying that Allah will grab them from their hair. This is not the head. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Ta la la la, ta la la la. You make it a brain. Look like the Muslims. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I just discovered something I never noticed before. That the Muslims look like they are different from the rest. They have their brain in their hair. It's obvious, brother. It is really obvious. Right? Mean. 
I don't see love from CP of those people my friend you are looking for my love you need the love of the Prophet Muhammad but just be careful don't sit in his lap you sit in his lap you are screwed just be careful no love <laughs> Muhammad Gita he's saying I don't see love what love you are upset because we are getting you busted about your lies how you make the hair on the front of the head you make it the head and you make it about the white substance inside the brain and discovery of why Muslims you have no dignity why you lie why you fabricate miracles and science which is not there hmm? why you do shame on you shame on you He's a liar, by the way. This guy is a liar. You see, he told you he wanna, you know, whatever he told you. you see, here we go. The Quran is speaking about them, Muslims. So what the Quran is saying that Allah will grab you from the front of your head, which is the hair. He is not talking about the head itself. The Muslim they make it a miracle and they make it science. And they start quoting for us from scientific books and they try to make it about the Quran. Okay, this this miracle get busted. Which which one next, guys? Which one you want? Which one? Choose from me. Look, look how many. Look, look, look how many. I want the Muslim to choose from me one. Which one? Which one? Look, 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 look. I mean all of this in the Quran. Even the hamburger. Even the hamburger is there. Unbelievable. Look, look at this boy. Look at this boy. Breastfeeding or the, don't talk about breastfeeding, please. Please, please don't talk about breastfeeding. I mean, this is alone is something. The only one who taught breastfeeding for adult in the whole universe, his name is Muhammad. Peace upon him. And this is why I'm afraid that many of the men listening to me now they might convert to Islam. Have you ever heard of a man? He is in the age of 50 something. He advise a woman because a man he is looking at her in a dirty way. To give her her to give him uh, her, uh, <coughs> her her boobs. <laughs> Me. <laughs> so Muslims, you respect Christianity. Uh, look like you are not a good Muslim. Because Allah, He says that Christ, the, the, Christ, the Christians are kuffar and they will go to hell. Mm. Yeah, they want to play victim. So now, who is the Muslim when I call me and he will choose for me any of those fabricated miracles to talk about? Open a challenge. Who is the Muslim when I choose for us one of those he claimed to be miracles? Which one? Anyone? Any Muslim? Uh, bag Bagul man, you know, one more time you repeat this guy, he is going to leave Islam. I'm going to block you too. Who is holding him from leaving Islam? Do he need to talk to me to leave Islam? Leave Islam. And I'm, I'm, I'm holding you. Like, I, do I have a glue? If somebody decides to leave Islam, he left Islam. That's it. He do not need me. Bye bye. Hello. Anyone? Any Muslim? Who is the Muslim want to show me which one of those miracles are true? I accuse them that they have fabricated 100% false miracles and nothing there is true. Even hydrogen in the Quran. Look, 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 look. In the Quran, hydrogen. I mean, what I can say. Allah have hands what I can say do you remember this guy the Asian Sheikh who was explained Allah have hands Allah he say have hands what I can say okay Allah speak about hydrogen what I can say <laughs> Allah spoke about the hydrogen Allah spoke about prayers Allah spoke about expanding the universe hmm. any Abdul 
any Abdul, my friend. Who is Abdul wanna call me? Come on. It's a challenge for you. Name for me the one story is it true there. Anyone? Mayday, mayday. Anyone? Explain the hamburger. Okay, you see, even this one is really funny because simply what they are saying to you that Islam decide that people should fast, but as we know, that fasting something exists long before Islam. So what Muslims can claim about it? When the Muslim they say, if you fast, decrease diabetes risk. If you fast, etc. I mean, this is this is stupid even to mention because this is not only you fast. Even the Buddhas they fast. Same time, same time, the Muslim they don't fast. Or what the Muslims they do, they exchange the time of the meal. What is the fasting? It's a big fat lie. Muslims never fast. This is not fasting. Me, myself, and all of you, you heard me many times saying, I eat once a day. How many guys, how many times you heard me saying, I eat once a day? Is that correct? Once a day. Which means once every 24 hours. Honest to God. Sometimes even I eat, not even like maybe 30 hours. Because like I, my chat is open, I'm, I'm talking. Let us see. Hello? Hello? Yes. So why do you keep talking about Islam? I like it. What's wrong? What's the problem? You, some some people they like to talk about uh, belly dancing. Some people like to talk about uh, painting. I like to talk about Islam. What's the problem? Well, it seems like you have this unhealthy obsession. Okay. Well, uh, explain to me what unhealthy obsession mean. It's very disturbing. Okay. Is that as are you it's saying sick. that you Muslims you are suffering from that? Because every Muslim every day pray five times a day saying, Oh Allah, please don't make us the same as the Christian and don't make us the same as the cursed Jews. Who is the one who have earthy oppression now? Don't you pray five times no. a day? Don't you pray five times a day? Repeating the chapter of Al Fatiha saying, Allah, please, please, please don't make me like the Christians and don't make me like the cursed Jews. What's wrong with you? The first thing you do in the morning before you touch your ass, you pray to Allah not to make you like us. My, my friend, do you have, you have, no, 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 I'm asking you, do you do that or, or I'm lying? Do you recite Al Fatiha five times a day or I'm lying? You're telling the truth. I'm telling the truth. Thank you very much. So, why you do that? Do you have a health uh, a problem? Why you Muslims what? do that? Why you why what? you ask Allah not to curse you like the Jews and not to make you lose lost like the, the Christian? Why you don't pray your day, start your day with something beautiful? Okay, pray to your God. And forget about the Christian, about the Jews. Why you cannot start your day without cursing the Christian and cursing the Jews? Are you finished? Yeah, I guess. Go ahead. Okay, I, I apologize for talking while you were interrupting me. Now, oh, you are very polite, man. That's wonderful. Okay, go ahead. And I apologize again for talking while you interrupted me. Hmm. Now, we are talking about you, okay? Why well, don't talk about you? What's wrong with talking about you too? You talk about me. I'm asking yeah. you the same logic. I'm using your logic. Your logic is the one who talk about something. He have a healthy issue. You pray five times a day, asking Allah not to curse you and not to make you like the Christian. Why you do that? Are you mental? So for the for the third time, I'll apologize for talking while you. No problem. You can apologize one one thousand times. Still, you won't answer me. You are trying to be smart. You are not smart. Here we go. I'm getting you busted. If you are saying to me that the one who speak about the topic non-stop. It's mean he have mental issues. Why the first thing you do in the morning is cursing us? Yeah. I apologize for interrupting me, etc. You want to repeat that? I can put a recorder for you. Now answer me. Go ahead. The problem with you is you're full of hate, too much hate. Mm. What, what about? Okay, let us talk about hate. I will. I will go with you. Chapter five, verse number fourteen. It says that Allah He spread hate between the Christian, which means. If I have hate as a Christian, you have to blame your God Allah because he is the vendor of hate. The supply of hate come to the Christian from Allah. Do you know that? Nothing wrong with that. Well, a second ago, you say the problem I have hate and now the problem is not hate no more. Why you said to me a second ago that if I have hate, you are saying the problem you have a lot of hate. But now I mentioned to you chapter 5 verse 14 says that Allah is the one who supply the Christians with hate. Suddenly hate is good. Which Christians? I, uh, the Christians us I'm the Christian here we go the Quran says that chapter 5 verse number 14 it says let me read for you 
you know from those who Allah to call themselves a Christian we took a covenant and but they forgot a good part of the message that we sent to them so we string them with enmity and hatred between one to another to the judgment day so as long you are against hate are you willing to condemn the teaching of your God and he is the one who supply us with hate which Christians I mean the Christians which Christians the Hindu obviously it could be any kind of Christian it doesn't matter what kind of God he supplied them matter. with the, what kind of God as long as you are against hate be honest with yourself as long as you are against hate what kind of God he supply people with hate well according to this verse where people get hate they go and call Allah the warehouse the warehouse of hate is Allah as you see I think it's talking about a specific Kind so specific Christian. okay specific no problem why you want to spread hate and same time it doesn't say specific you know what get me busted show me it says a specific well i can't show it now but why you cannot show I, me why you cannot show me what's I'm, wrong because i want you to talk about you. your mama is not there ask mama ask daddy they can help you so what why would you talk about my mother like that i'm not talking about, did i say anything I, I said ask them because obviously you acted like a baby ask mama ask daddy i said mama and daddy Ask mama, ask daddy, they can help you. What this verse mean? The verse mean that the Christians, Allah spread hate between them until judgment day. You said to me, this is about a specific kind of a Christian, but as you see, it says until judgment day. Have you ever heard of a specific kind of people that live until judgment day? Do you want to call a Listen. friend? Listen, I'm listening. Go ahead. By the way, I noticed you are dangerous. Oh. I don't know, like you are very deep. You're very scared of me. That's why I'm terrified. Yes, I will end your career tonight. Uh huh. And now, how you respond to what I said to you? I'm waiting. Well, I think it's a, a specific kind of Christian. Doesn't matter. Let us say a specific kind of a Christians. Let us say Christians who have two noses. What kind of God he supplied them with hate? Why he want to spread hate? Is your God Allah is a devil or he is God? Because some people will never change. So you, you you never change so you supply them with hate and then they will, they will do what they will go and do killing If you supply somebody with hate is that will make him better person or will make him more evil and then he will hurt other people So what is the benefit of Allah what Allah is generating as a benefit from spreading hate? The benefit is to test the believers what testing with well, those are not believers Abdul he calls them with hate What's wrong with you test the believers? No, 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 by the, the way, how Allah how Allah like, okay as long as you are talking about test the believer have you ever heard of Khadija testing Allah by her legs? So now you're changing topics. Again. No, I'm not changing topic. You are the one who mentioned the testing that believers, according to you your, according to Khadija, Abdul. Listen, according to Khadija, she examined the inspiration of Allah, and she did the strapties to her prophet, to her husband, and after the strapties, she asked him, uh, uh, like yeah. an, an angel. He came. You, you know the story, right? You know the story, my friend. In the story how Khadija she did practice, uh, uh, practice strapis. Look, all those scars in YouTube they are talking about that. All right, here you will see Imtihanu Khadija Burhan al Wahi. I don't know if you speak Arabic or not. The book of Astir al Halabi. Let me show you the book. I like the book. I like the cover actually. You know, Astir al Nabawiya li Ibn Hisham. And this is one of sources of the story. It says here, variant number one, Qala Ibn Isha, Qala Qala Qal, page number two, three, nine, variant number one. عن خديجة رضي الله عنها أنها قالت رسول الله يا ابن عم أتستطيع أن تخبرني بصاحبك؟ let us make the story short. محمد he sees someone in the corner every day. and خديجة she said to him, I didn't see him. he said, well I see him. so خديجة she said to him, okay next time you see him, please please my cousin tell me. you know the Arab they call the husband cousin. so he saw him as usual and then she said to him, okay come here محمد come here خبيبي. And sit in the top of my right leg and Muhammad he sat in the top of her right leg and she said to her husband do you see him you see I'm showing you the screen so he sat in the top of her uh, the right of her leg or thigh and she said to him do you see him he said yes then she said okay stand up and sit in the top of my left leg and do you see him he said yes and then she said okay sit up stand up and sit in the top of me and she took off her clothes which means they want to have sex and then she said do you see him mm. oh no sorry now he now he sat in the top of her that but did not go like you know like 
totally out of so he sat in the top of her but she's still wearing her clothes she said still you see him he said yes and now she said she took off her clothes and she uncovered herself and the prophet sitting in the top of her and she said to him do you see him he said no she said glory to Allah this is an angel have you ever heard of a wife testing the angel of God by striptease before where is the English version of that yeah, I don't know you find it I show it to you I show you the reference in the screen this is your Islamic website library.islam.net and you can buy a steer and nabawira ibn Isham in English and you can find it this is value number one page number two three nine I'll look into it all right so anything else my friend you want to say you want to say to me yes I I hope you can be less hateful more respectful okay and you know my friend I decided to stop hate uh, I want to marry four girls Muslim girls so to show you how much I love Islam is that okay so you are also a pervert too. I'm what? A pervert. What does that mean? Explain to me. Does that mean like I have like like to have sex with the children six years old, like your prophet? That's that's a very terrible argument. What do you mean? Your prophet, he have sex with six years old girl. Does that just, make him pervert? You said to me, if I like to have sex with four women, that make me pervert. Your prophet, he have thirteen wives and limited numbers of slaves, and he have sex with a with, with, a, with a girl she is six years old. So what? So suddenly, suddenly, pervert is not in the dictionary in your more. No, I just no, said to you, I just said to you, I want to marry four girls, Muslim girls. You said to me, I am pervert, right? Okay, so the one who marry four girls, he's pervert. Your prophet, he have thirteen. One of them is a child. What do you say? Oh, you. What I meant was the way you talk about these things. What What so do you mean we talk? Okay, let me let us talk about things. How How we should talk about? Let, let me ask you. Let me ask you. If somebody say, if somebody said, if somebody said, go and buy the penis of your father. Do you think he's a pervert? You are jealous of Muhammad. I'm you very so jealous, for sure. For I'm absolutely, I'm jealous. Look at this. I mean, the guy he have a lot of women. I mean, that's the, we cannot debate about that. But still, answer me. If Muhammad he said to a man, go and buy the penis of your father, does that make him pervert for you or no? Muhammad has billions of followers. You are nothing. You are irrelevant. And mm, you will... a billions of stupid. They are leaving Islam, my friend. Here we go. We are explaining Islam to them, and they are leaving, as you see. You are irrelevant. Do you, you know? Are... Do you know how many people they they how many Muslims they buy my books every day? You will not believe it, man. It's Shabir Ali book. himself, Shabir Ali Zakir Naik are reading my book, brother. So uh, the, with the, 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 the evidence, okay. Ask, ask Shabir Ali, ask Shabir Ali, ask Shabir Ali. Ask him. I challenge you to ask him. Actually, I I, I show it, I, I show his purchase be, before. Shabir Ali, he did. Ask him. I challenge him to say he did not. Ask him. Ask him. Ask you see, him. I'm speaking in public. I'm speaking in public. All right, guys. I'm speaking in public. Shabir Ali will hear me. Shabir Ali will go and make a video. Says Christian Prince. He said I did buy a book, his book, and this is a lie. Let him do it. You will see. He will never dare to do so. Well, maybe he doesn't take you seriously. Uh, so he he buy my books. Ah, he don't take me seriously, and he buy my books. Mm. Abdul, now let us. Let, I will give you a chance to prove Islam to be something very good can you show me one thing for you as a muslim i don't want to talk about bad stuff can you show me one one good thing about islam just one anything can you uh, the, the way it defines righteousness righteousness like what like give to charity respecting parents mm, charity i like that you see i was talking to you for how long now half hour mm -hmm. i didn't ask you i did not ask you to pay me money do you know that you're a prophet he refused to talk to a blind man because he is poor and he insists that if you want to meet with the prophet you have to pay him first is that true people do that today no 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 people do that today muhammad is dead abdul is dead you cannot pay him i'm saying do you know that your prophet refused to talk to a blind man because he is poor and this is in the chapter of abasa and muhammad he said that Allah told him that before you meet with the Prophet in the private consultation, you have to pay him money. Yes or no? Or I'm lying. Nothing wrong with that. What's wrong with that? Well, where is the righteous okay. here? Righteous is a person who do, even the Quran says, follow those who ask you for no wages. Speaking about the disciple of Jesus. How you ask for wages if the Quran saying, don't follow those who ask you for wages. If we go in the Quran, we will find the following chapter 36 verse number 21 it says it tabi'u man la yas'alakum ajran 
وهم مهتدون This is about the disciple of Jesus. This is about Paul and Peter and Simon Peter and John. And this is the translation. Here we go. So how Muhammad says that Allah says that the disciple of Jesus says that Allah told them to say that obey those who ask no wages from you as a return of guidance. Yet Muhammad, he said to them in different verse, well, if you want to meet with the prophet, you have to pay him. Not only that, Muhammad, he claimed that he, he can pray in your behalf. You know, you pay him. Let me show you, my friend. Here you go. What was the payment for? The payment because he prayed in your behalf. I mean, this is wonderful. Mm -hmm. All right. yeah, it, could be for anything. it could be for anything. Okay, sure. This is what it says in the verse, brother. This is what it says in the verse. The verse says that what I can do. I mean, come on, listen. Abdul, 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 listen. The, the verse says that, so we cannot. Are you making fun of Allah, my friend? Are you making, you are making, okay, so making, the verse says that how, how you know that doesn't say that. Here we go, chapter 9, verse 103. It says, Take from their money arms, uh, so you can uh, uh, like sanctify them, purify them, and pray in their behalf. Give me, okay, my brother. Give me brother five dollars. I will pray in your behalf. What kind of a prophet? If you pay him, he pray in your behalf. What does that mean? He's he's like like he is a he's a contractor for prayer. Read with me. You keep going. Abdul. You keep going from one topic Abdul. To yes, I'm going from one topic to topic. I'm going with you. You are the one who said to me. Aren't you the one who said to me charity in Islam? Aren't you the one who mentioned that? Let, let us see where the charity goes. Of their goods, of their goods, take arms that thou mightst purify, sanctify them. And pray on their behalf. So if you pay Muhammad, Muhammad is like a Pepsi Cola machine. He have a hole. I'm not going to say where. I'm, I'm very polite. You put the coins there. Muhammad, you start saying, Alhamdulillah, Labbil Alameen, Allahmanul Lahim. I like to eat teen, Arabian, fight for Palestine against the Jews in Takbir. Okay. Now, by doing that, by paying him, he pray in your behalf and he said to fire you. Since when somebody pray in the behalf of somebody because he paid him? Explain to me. Is this another verse? Yes, this is another verse. What happened to your voice? Are you okay? Are you under the table now? Go, out, dude, go, out, dude. Let, let, let the man of the house call me, okay? Let your mom call me. I want the man of the house to call. Oh, we have a Muslim is calling us, trying to call us. Hold on. <laughs> what happened? Hello? Hello, Krishna Pras. How are you? Hey, Yusuf, how are you? Are you what, what, why are you are calling me? What are you trying to say? What do you want to say? What you are talking about? We are talking about your prophet. You know, like I don't know, a lot of things your prophet he said doesn't make sense. As an example, he said that women have a sperm coming from their ribs, and this is really scary. What do you I think about that? I challenge, I challenge you to, to show me this the word sperm in the verse. Oh, why there's no verse. Oh, okay, hold on, hold on. Why are you lying? Okay, hold why on, hold on. Okay, well, hold on. Let us see why who's lying. Okay, hold on, hold on. We will go. We will go. Hold on, guys. Uh, okay, we will go. Uh, why you are lying? We will see. All right. Show this, me the, hold this on, story. hold on. Let us see. Everybody will see in a second who is lying. This is verse number six and verse number seven. Let us see. In a second, people will see if this is a uh, I'm lying or not. Okay, here we go. Uh, go to verse Abdul, 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 Abdul. Hold on, hold on, Abdul. Please, my friend. Ab uh, no, uh, oh, hold on, please. You know, uh, uh, people. No, no, we sh we show things. We show things in the screen. We show things in the screen. Please, hold on. Okay. Khuliqa min ma in dafiq. Created from yes. gashing fluid. What is the gashing fluid? He's gashing talking about. Fluid. He didn't specific. Okay, what is that? Okay, explain to me. You are the it's smart. Okay, it's, okay, it's like okay, it's smart to me. Yeah, the baby is baby created is from no problem. No problem, I'm, I'm, Abdul, brother, brother. You explain to me what is this gashing fluid which is coming from the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women will make the baby. Go ahead. The fluid is the fluid. What, you are, what is that? Is it, is it oil? Is it, is it is it oil? Is it cheese? Is it what? What it is? What is that? The Quran doesn't say anything about this fluid. Why you are why you are lying about the Quran? If okay, Quran okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. 
Okay, 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 okay. Let us see if I'm lying or not. Hold on, hold on. Everybody will laugh at you, my friend. Here we go. Let's, the Quran, the Quran, the Quran says uh, how he created. What, what is the gushing fluid? We will see. Hold on, in a second. Here we go. All right. Hold on. Okay, listen, listen, listen. How Allah describe which verse in the Quran describe how Allah He made the baby? Tell me, do you know? I will go to that verse you choose for me. Which one? This verse that you are talking about, no. He talk about the creation of man and not the creation of the sperm. This is what you are confusing. I'm not talking about the creation of the sperm, my friend. It's talking about the creation of the man, correct? But he's yes. telling us, okay, but he's telling us where the sperm is yes. coming from. Let, 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 let's, let's see. What, what if we go to Ibn Kathir? No. Is Ibn Kathir is okay for you? Is Ibn Kathir is a scholar for you or, or he's a potato? Okay. Is Ibn Kathir is a scholar for you? Is, a, is no, Ibn Kathir, are we on a changing subject? Is Ibn Kathir is good enough for you to go and ask him or no? Not, not in the scientific verses. Why? Why? Okay. Who is your favorite scholar, okay. my friend? Why you are refusing no. the scholars? Who is your favorite scholar? Who is your favorite scholar? The, all the scholars, the scholars in religion, are not scholar of, of scientists. If you don't have any no problem, scientists, okay, you can that, that's wonderful. This is a scholar of religion, not a scholar of scientists. Here we go. So look what they say. They are saying they are saying that Allah He speak about the sperm of the women and the sperm of the man. Let let me ask you. This? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me ask you. Did Why you are did, lying about the Quran? The Quran never say creation of sperm, the creation of a man, and not a creation of sperm. Okay, how the man is created from what? Yes, Okay. Who is Guys, guys, uh, you, Yusuf, Yusuf, he speak Arabic. Did you hear him speak in Arabic? Correct? Did he speak Arabic? Okay. What What is the interpretation? What is the interpretation for the scholar you like so we can read for you? I just tell, tell you, this scholar doesn't understand the, the science. If you don't have at, at this time of scholar, so are you saying the scholars at that time they are stupid, and you are the scholar today? No, no. Hmm. The, at this time, the scholar are are good in the religion, but not in the science. Okay. So are you are you saying to me that Allah was not good? He is good in religion, but not good in science. Are you saying that? I am speaking about scholar, not good. I know, good but, but the one who said that it's Allah. Allah is to use the word taraib, not the scholar. Who is what is the word taraib mean? What is the word taraib? Is, is what is the word taraib mean? What is the word taraib mean? Go ahead. What is the word taraib mean? Taraib is a part of a woman. A part of what? A woman. That's a big fat lie. A taraib mean the bones of the chest, the location of the necklace. You are lying, my friend. Why you are lying? Do you want me to get your busted life? We are discussing sperm. We are Do you discussing want... sperm. Do you... Do you... My Do friend, my friend, I asked you, I asked you, the Quran used the word taraib. What taraib is? You said, you said something different. The taraib is the ribs of the women. Why you are lying? Ribs of the women. Okay, well, so what is that? So what is that? Will, when a man and women, they have sex, is coming from the ribs of the women, will make the baby. Go ahead. It's... Allah in, the, in this verse, Allah says that the the man himself is will, will uh, the man. Uh, mm. It is the man who is between the the sub and taraib, and not the sperm. The man is between the sub and taraib. The man. <laughs> my friend, my, my, don't don't friend, friend me, don't friend me, brother, 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 brother. It says a gashing fluid. Allah created you from gashing fluid. Did the Quran says yes. Allah created you from gashing fluid? Yes or no? Does the verse says <laughs> Allah created you? Does the verse says Allah created you from gashing fluid? And this gashing fluid coming from between the backbone and the ribs of the women. So what is the gashing fluid will create the baby? Go ahead. He never say this. He never say that the fluid it is who who come between the uh, the back and the ribs. It is not the, the what? fluid. It so is what the is man. no? It he says be... he created the from gushing fluid. Oh. Everybody can see it in the screen. You are lying, my before friend. This, no, my friend. Before this, he talk about the man. Khuliqa min ma in the yes, the so, human being. Yes, the human being is created from yeah. what? From 
ما إن دافق from gaseous fluid. What is that gaseous fluid which create the man? Go ahead, explain to us. If you know the basics of Arabic, mm -hmm. we have we have Allah firstly speak about the man, mm -hmm. then he speak about the water, then he's he's he speak about something coming from between the big and the ribs okay what is that something coming from between the the backbone and the and the ribs go ahead what is that something, something is, this something is referring to man and not referring to the water abdul 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 are you saying to me that abdul, all the muslim scholars let, let everybody is laughing at you because you are saying to me now all muslim scholars all muslim scholars all muslim scholars they are liars are you saying that are you saying all muslim they do not understand arabic better than you and you are the only one who come with this in conclusion all scholar muslim at this time don't understand the science because this science but is this is science. not about science now this is about what the quran saying forget about science who's talking about science now hold on hold on hold on what you are saying to me that allah uh, you are explaining to me the science now or the quran now because you are getting busted so you are trying to make it fit with the science this is why so the scholars you, you get yourself busted the, the, okay let me ask you what ask you what about your prophet? Did your prophet say something poo -poo about this? Did your prophet say that this is the water is coming from the women and the man and whoever comes first, the baby will be a boy? Did your prophet say that or no? This hadith is weak. I challenge you. This hadith is weak? It is weak hadith. Okay, let us okay, guys, guys, it's a weak hadith. It's Okay, it's a weak hadith. Yes, okay. weak hadith. We yes. will see. Okay, this is Sahih Muslim. This is a weak hadith? Yes. Sahih Muslim, weak hadith? Okay, where it says Sahih? Where, where it says this weak? Hadith. Where it says weak? Show me. I challenge you. Go ahead. Where it says weak. Show me. Show me the hadith. Here we go. This is the hadith. I will show it to you in Arabic and in English. Okay. Ma or rajul, ma or rajul. As long you're you're a Moroccan, you don't know Arabic very well. Ma or rajul abiyadun, wa ma or mar'a asfar. Fa idh ishtama'a fa fa ala ma or rajul muni al mar'a. Adha karabi idni la. Translate. Translate. Let us laugh. You can call a friend if you want. I will teach you what 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 is the relation between this? Because here here is explaining the water. Here, this is the gushing fluid, Abdul. This is the gushing fluid. And now, don't change the topic. You you tell me, did your prophet here lie? Did your prophet? Why you why you don't want to read it? Why you don't want to read it? Why you don't want to translate? Are you ashamed if your prophet making poo poo? What kind of a prophet he claim that the man and look guys look here the Muslim they try to to fabricate. They add, look what they add in the translation. Look what they say. Look, 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 and read with me. Look how they lie. They say that the women, the Holy Prophet said, the reproduction of substance of the man is white, and the women, i.e., ovum central portion is yellow. Look at the lie. There's no thing. This is the, the, the Muhammad. He said it is yellow. Muhammad talking about the fluid which is coming from the vagina of the women, and when they have sexual intercourse. The male, the male water overcome, which means Muhammad is saying the one who come first, reveal upon the female substance. This is a lie. It says no. the water of a woman, and then they say it is a male child, and the creator of Allah. If the women substance, according to the Muslim translation, look here the, the, the lies. If the if the female substance overcome the male, the the baby will be female child. However, even with this false translation, even this is a proven Muhammad to be a false prophet because the one who decide the gender of the baby is the male, not the female. <laughs> secondly, secondly, there's nowhere they are speaking. Muhammad he spoke about the chromosome. Let us get the Muslims uh, Abdul busted. Hold on, Let, I will show you something more. If we go in the hadith, you see, let, let me oh, hold on, hold on. Let, let, let us get you busted, Abdul. Abdul, Abdul, the lies of Muslims trying to cover. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hmm. Listen. Let's finish uh, this hadith. You uh, are lying about this hadith. I'm lying. Why? Yes, I, I, I will show you why you are lying. This hadith doesn't talk about the creation of a man. It's talk about this similarity between the baby and his mother and his man let's talk about the, the the creation of a man okay what about this one let us see okay we worry we worry we worry we worry we let us connect let us connect everybody will laugh at you in a second the messenger of allah the messenger of allah the messenger of allah said the water of the man the, the water of the man is thick and white and the and the women water is thin and yellow so now conferred by muhammad what he's talking about and he says whichever of them 
comes first the child will resemble the parents so now what resemble the parents mean we will go to the other hadith the one you said to me i lied about we go to the other hadith let us see so now it's confirmed shut up it's, it's confirmed it's confirmed what women is what what water is that this is the water of the man and the water of the women whoever come first whoever come first this is about the chromosome the muslim they lie in the translation there's no chromosome there's no substance this is whoever comes first now we go to the second hadith now here we go listen abdul you said I did lie about this hadith. Explain to me how I did lie. Go ahead. You are lying because this hadith he didn't talk about the creation of a, a man or, or, or this. He talked about the similarity between the child Let and me... his uh, his parents. Okay, so but this is isn't this is how they, how has it created? Yes. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, yes. guys. This is not about the creation. This is not about the creation. So why you're a prophet saying? Okay, this is this is not about the creation. No problem. But this is speaking about gushing fluid, which, which, which hold on, hold on, hold on, potato. Your, did your prophet say? Did your prophet say if whoever of them comes first, the baby will resemble the parents? Yes. Okay. That's mean the coming is what decide and what make the baby happen. Correct. This is This is how he created them. How he created them. How the baby is created. From the water of the man it's and the water of the women, this is what the Quran is speaking about. The water of the man, the water of the women, the water of the man is white and thick. Your prophet is clean. Respect your prophet, man. Shame on you. Respect your prophet. Don't make fun of him. Shame on you. Please. Why you are making fun of the prophet Muhammad, peace upon him, man? Why you are doing that? So you're a prophet saying that the, the man, the mind, sperm is white and thick. I don't know if you have a sperm or not, but maybe you, one day you will find out. And the women, the women's sperm is thin and yellow. And whichever of them comes first, the child will resemble the parent. Now, did your prophet here, Abdul? Abdul, this is about the creation. Yeah, this is about the creation of the baby. This is about the creation of the baby. Muhammad is trying to explain to us how the baby is created. No, he didn't talk about the steps of creation. He talked about how it comes to resemble <sighs> his parents. Don't twist it. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. In this verse, in this hadith in front of us, you agree. That your prophet here is speaking about the resemblance of the parents, correct? Okay, why about the creation? Okay, no problem. Hold on, hold on. I will go with you. Why your prophet lying then? He's saying that the one resembled the, the, the child. He is lying because he says what is that? You didn't nothing in science, my friend, and you want you want to interpret the verse. You saying prophet lie. It is you who never you're a prophet saying that whoever comes first will decide the gender of the baby. Is that true? Whoever comes first would decide the gender of the baby. Well, a brother, please, please. I want you from now on never come first because the babies will look like you and they will be smart like you. And that is very dangerous. I advise you to make your wife come first. At well, least, at least they will be I'm smart. Who would, who would, listen, it says whoever comes first. Do you agree with your prophet or your prophet here is making poo poo? Do you agree with your prophet? Do you agree with your prophet or your prophet here is doing poo poo, big poo poo? The, the scientists agree with the prophet and not with you. He agree with him. The scientists they agree that if a man have orgasm first, the baby will be a boy, yes. and that the women have orgasm first, the baby will be a girl. They agree, they agree go, with that. Go no search. <laughs> Guys, so go, go and do search, brother. Brother, brother, brother and sisters, go and do search, brother, sister, go and do search. Go and do no, sir. No. The scientists agree, brother, the that if a man have orgasm. First. Okay, I want you to do this, Abdul. I want you to do this. I want you to show me one scientist. Agree with your prophet. Do it now. You'll get exposed by scientists, my friend. <laughs> you make yourself a professor and doctor in science. You are zero, my friend. You are nothing in science. <laughs> uh, Laugh yourself. Well, I don't know. Uh, you know, ask ask people. Look, look at people in the text. They are dying from laughing. I don't know. They are laughing at you or at me. We don't know. Allah, Allah knows best. Okay, listen, listen. Can you find me one one scientist he agree with you that if the women have orgasm first? Abdul, Abdul. So Abdul, Abdul, listen. Don't change it. Muslims, Muslim women, Muslim women, Muslim women. They have never have orgasm because simply you do circumcision for them. So now, how the Muslim women they will have a baby girl? Then explain to me. Listen, you Muslim, you circumcise your wife, which means she will never have orgasm. There is no Muslim woman she have orgasm unless she is not circumcised. Okay, now 
So now, how Muhammad he proved to us that he's a stupid by doing that? Because if a woman she cannot have That's orgasm, true. I can show you. I can show you the wife of the prophet herself. She never have orgasm. Do you know that? Is that a true? Is that a true? Is that a true? Is that a true? Is that a true that you're a prophet? You're a prophet wife. Is it true that your prophet wife she never have orgasm? Why you change the topic? I'm not. I'm, I'm not. It's the same topic. I'm. I'm the same. The same topic. Look, this is this is your prophet wife. You know, she never. She never have orgasm, and she is the wife of the prophet. She's asking like, do we, what? What the heck? Do women have orgasm? Like what? Who's seeing that? The wife of the prophet. How do women have orgasm? Muhammad he says to her, sure, sure. Read with me. Um Salim said, Allah Messenger, verily Allah is not shy in telling you the truth. Is it essential for a woman to take a bath after she had a wet dream? Muslim women, they are seen with dreams always, non stop. You are horny. We are not. Okay, not the sexual charge. Read it. You see it? He said, yes. If she noticed that this charge, then Um Salama laughed. She loved the wife of your prophet. Is, is Umm Salama the, the wife of the prophet or she's a neighbor, brother? By the way, brother, is that the wife of the prophet or the neighbor? Who is this woman? Muhammad, he never made his wives have orgasm. Look what she said. Umm Salama laughed and said, <laughs> What does the women have a sexual discharge? <laughs> Muhammad, he said to her, Yes, yes. How does her son resemble her the mother then? So Muhammad claiming that the women discharge is the reason for the baby to resemble the mother. How do you respond to that? Why are you Why are jumping? From I'm not a changing. I'm getting you, you more busted. I'm getting you busted. Getting your prophet well, busted. Who cannot even make his wife have have, have orgasm? Who is this woman, Ummu Salama? You tell me. Who is who is she? Why she never ha heard of orgasm before? And why Muhammad saying he come, why Muhammad he confirm why Muhammad he confirm that the women have when she have orgasm that will make the baby resemble her which means became a female prove to me that this is wrong scientifically you are just waffling without any evidence in sciences this you are making okay, yourself I am a going to ask Okay. I'm just laughing. I am. I am. Guys, anyone in the text, please post a link for how the baby scientifically. I want a Muslim. I want a Muslim to post for us in the text how the baby. I want you. I want you. You I want to, you to go search. No. Okay. Now. Okay. If I show you now in the front of everybody. Okay. Let us let us make a challenge. If I show you how the baby is made according to science, and this is against Islam, are you willing to leave Islam? Are you, what are you talking about? The, the creation of a man, of the creation of, or a sperm, or what? Exactly. You you are you are, you are saying to me how the baby is made, right? How the baby is made, right? But you you, you are you talking about the verse or the hadith? Uh, both. We will show you how the baby gender is decided, and we will show you how the baby is made. What do you think? What do I you want you to show me that what the Quran say is wrong. Show me. Which one we want to show you? You're saying, listen, listen, listen. I, I'm not here to waste. I, I'm not. I'm, I'm not here to waste my time. But I can show you tons. Look, you see, all if I search, I search. If I search, listen. If I search right now in Google, all those websites they say how the baby is made. Which one you want me to do? To choose for you. Look at the screen. Tell me the one you like me to click in it, and I will go there. Which one? Which one? Go to a scientist, a website of scientists, and not just. This is all scientists. Research. All of them, they are scientists. Which one you choose? You see, I'm giving you 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 because you refuse to do the search yourself. Which one you want? Choose anyone you want. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Why waiting out for the baby baby or a girl? My how many parents we want. Okay, choosing baby gender with you uh, six and uh, choose gender X. Let us make okay. How to have a girl or a boy, girl or a boy, choosing baby sex was there a child or a girl, boy, girl, brain, see, meth. 
which gender you are. Okay, let's see this one. Boy or girl, Brit net miss, which gender you are carrying? All right. All right, gender myth. Okay, trust us, anyone, mother, yoga. This is talking about yoga. What is that? Uh, uh, sign of your skin, body, gender fact. Okay, so maybe you know, master, baby, gender, but blah 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 blah. blah. It look like this website. I have nothing. Hold on, let us find it. Hold on. We need to find a website speaking about science of babies. Anyone have one? If you have one, send it to me in Skype. Okay, let us see. All right, somebody send me something. I don't know. Let us see. I'll put it in the screen. Getting breadnet how baby are made. All right. How baby are made. For women, blah, 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 two million egg, blah, blah, blah. Okay, as you see here, there's no gushing fluid for the women. It's the eggs. The egg is making the baby. Oh, God, Allah, he missed the egg. Okay, and then he says, uh, uh, the release called evolution, blah, 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 blah. Okay, how do, who, how do man make sperm? And the man body almost consistently work producing millions of microbes, sperm, blah, blah, blah. Okay, it's okay. So it's coming from here. This is where the sperm is coming from. Read with me carefully. It says, uh, the average sperm lives only a few weeks in the man body. It's about 250 million, blah, 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 blah. Okay. And then it says, to produce healthy sperm, despite whatever, blah, 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 okay. Does having an orgasm help baby making? Okay. Beside the etc. etc. If in a man having orgasm, purple sperm rich sermon in the vagina up, okay, blah blah blah, okay, okay. Uh, a woman orgasm also help uh, concepting a study, okay. Let us see why speaking about the gender. Which sperm get to the egg first? Okay, where is this? Where is the gender here? There's nothing in the whole article about the gender, my friend, the one who sent me this. Anyone see anything about the, how the gender is decided? Why you send me this article? We wasted our time. Who is the one who sent me this? You see how it is difficult to to find it. No, it's not difficult, you my friend. It's not difficult. Hold on, 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 hold on. Abdul, Abdul, hold on, hold on, hold on. As long as you are saying it's difficult, let me show you. Okay, let, let me go and search. I will find it myself. And everybody will laugh at you in a second. Everybody knows. Everybody already is laughing, Abdul. This is something very stupid. I mean, only donkeys they will argue about this issue. Let us see. Let me find you. The one who did the search, he did not do the right search. All right. Let us see. Actually, there's many videos, but we don't want to use them because that will be a copyright issue. There's a ton of them. All right. Here we go. I just searched for how the embryo formatted, stage of the embryo, and development. We don't want Wikipedia. Stay away from Wikipedia. Wikipedia, anyone can write anything. Stage of development of the uh, photos. I'm going to pause the link. Everybody can go and read.
And by the way, here Muhammad he made another poo, poo because Muhammad in different hadith he says that the sperm stay as a sperm for 40 days and then it's going to be a, 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 a clot for 40 days and it's going to be a flush for 40 days. The, the total is 120 uh, 20 days. Uh, development of the photos and etc. Okay, even this website is stupid. Uh, I before I use a website actually it was very good. They have even drawing and they have. Uh, Let us see here. Maybe if we read in details, you will, you will see the, 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 let us see. All right. Boy or a girl? Yeah, this is about the X and uh, you know the gender. But how this guy will understand this? We are talking to certified donkeys. You want to explain to this guy X and O? That is mission impossible. Uh, sons or daughter? Let us read from here. A gene consists of two parts known as etc. Okay, men with the first. Uh, okay, it's called Y. More sperm Y. And or X or Y and etc. And okay, more boys born after the war. Uh, and this is even a stupid article too. You guys are not giving me anything good. Not even a single one of you. Okay, a little awkward straight point. Six definition of a human. Differentiation of a human. Okay. Yeah, but you see, this is this is complicated for this Abdul to understand. It's about the X and the Y. How you can explain to Abdul an X and Y? That's not what we want. We want a very clear answer to show him how stupid his prophet is. We need to read the whole article about the, the X and the Y, and then we will find out what is what is the answer. But this is not what we want. We want something simple and easy. Let us see this one. Learn how the baby, the baby became a baby girl or baby boy. Okay, let us see. One of the most exciting part, your baby genes determine the sex. Okay, your baby sex determined at conception by his or her genes. Okay, embryos with XY chromosome become boys. And those uh, with X chromosome become girls, and there's 70 different genes, etc. And by the way, I I, I read an article even uh, not long time ago that even those uh, they found that it was really the man who decide. It's not really the chromosome of both. Uh, this is what I saw in the article. They are saying it. They 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 found that it was the man and the man only. But look here. It is the chromosome according to this article. In the beginning, boys and girls are the same, up until about seven weeks to eight weeks pregnancy. Both sex have what is known the gentile uh, uh, ridge. All right. Advertising. The baby would develop a female sex origin if it were not male hormone testosterone at around a week seven. The Y chromosome single that start transforming production and etc. But anyway, as you see, uh, this this is alone here is enough, because Muhammad he said whoever comes first, that will decide the baby gender. Correct. This is here is enough. Muhammad he made it clear that the one who decide the gender of the baby is whoever come first. There is not even a woman pregnant yet. You come first, the baby will be like you. Doesn't matter if it's a male or a female. And here we go. This is science in the front of us saying totally the opposite. Let us call this Abdul. This is enough. Let us call this Abdul and love together again.
Answer, Abdul. Answer. What happened? Are you going to spend the day ringing you? Okay, there's other Muslim is trying to call, and this Muslim is a smarter. There's a Muslim, he's a smarter. He's tried to call, but we could not reach him. Let us call the other Muslim. Where is this guy? Um, Isa, Isa. Okay, let's see what Isa want to say. Isa is a smarter than this guy. What's wrong with Muslims? Okay, Muslims, they are in strike, look like they are afraid to see what happened. Who is the Muslim is proud about what's happening? Who is the man, who is the Muslim man will explain to us why Muhammad is saying such a thing? And by the way, here it says, read with me carefully. When I say to you that it's the man who determine, I made it clear. Men determine the sex of the baby depending on whether their sperm is carrying X or Y. As simple as that. It's not the female. You know, for 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 a long time, people they blame the women, like a Muslim men. If the woman she gave a baby girl first time, second time, third time, so what he do? He go and marry second wife hoping that the second wife she is going to give him a son you know because they are ignorant so men determine the sex of the baby depending on the uh, or on whether their sperm is carrying an x or y and this is alone is enough to 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 get muhammad busted any muslim have a comment how allah he says such a stupid thing how muhammad he says such a stupid thing i remember muhammad when he answered this answer he claimed that jibril told him Muhammad, when he answered this answer, he claimed that Jibreel is the one who told him that. It's not his idea. What happened to you, Yusuf? You don't want to call me no more? Yusuf? Mama is waiting. What do you think, Yusuf? Your prophet was doing poo, -poo here? Or he was not doing poo, poo If we go in the hadith, you will find Muhammad. Uh, let us see. He said that Jibreel, he just told me. Let me show you the other hadith. Did Muhammad claim that this is coming to him from Jibreel? Or he is just making things up? He claimed it is Jibreel. Here we go. All right. Read with me what Muhammad said. Muhammad, he did not claim that this is an answer he is guessing. Muhammad, he said clearly that this is Jibreel told him. Read with me. The man, he said to him, and what make the baby look like the father or the mother? And by the way, here they, are, they mean if they are female or male. The prophet said, just now, Jibreel has informed me about that. Do you see it? The Muslim, they cannot say, well, Muhammad is a man, he thought this way, he was mistaken, he is a human being like all of us. Well, Muhammad is a liar. This is what it's making a difference. Because Muhammad is making a claim that the one who told him this information, it is Jibreel. Correct, guys? 
as long he is saying Jibreel informed me now what the Muslim can say what he can say obviously there's one of two either Jibreel is a stupid or Muhammad is a liar correct Abdul it's okay guys we have enough we, we do not need more links and anyway. that's it I am not a doctor but you know this is something basic we learned when we are kids in the school I mean that this is stupid I mean even to talk about it but the most time you notice they go in denial just because the one who they are defending is their prophet they go in denial that's it they don't want to agree they don't want to believe they don't want to etc and they want to go against what everybody in the world knows and suddenly just because Muhammad he says such a thing the most time they want to believe in it and there is no way we can give Muhammad any excuse except being a false prophet because he claimed that Jibreel told him who told him the Quran Jibreel who told him this Jibreel so Muhammad here confirming the same source he received the, all he everything he have from Allah is coming from Jibreel this is a guy the pizza guy hey by the way guys today I'm going to eat pizza I want to eat with me honest to God I wish I can invite you but thanks God I cannot because imagine I want to invite 600 people to my pizza obviously I would eat nothing so I'm very thankful that I'm not here. <laughs> unless the Lord the Messiah he plus our pizza and he will feed thousands of people with it you see how amazing the Lord the Messiah look what we are talking look what we are debating about the poopoo -poo of Muhammad in the same time, the Muslims, they themselves, they have a chapter in the Quran. It's called the chapter of Al-Ma'idah, which means the chapter of the table, the food. the food. Jesus, he blessed the food and people, they eat by thousands and never end, even in the Quran. So look what we are debating about. The Muslim, they debate you about Trinity because this, this is their favorite topic. But who cares? Let us say, let us say for the sake of argument, somebody believe in something and it's wrong. Let us say there's a guy, he believed that there's 10 gods, 10 gods. But then we found that he is right. So thank God, there's 10 God, then what we can do? If there's one, is one. Being one or 10 will not make a difference. But what make a difference is if there are true gods or false God. If you believe in one God, but it's a false God, it's a false God. Correct? So, Believing in how many, that will not change anything. Who care? Let us say somebody believe in one million God, but there is one, and then we discover that there is one million God. That will change nothing. The Muslim, they love to debate you about this because they think they have something against you. Same time, we are the one who believe in one God, not you. In the top of that, everything Jesus does, your God cannot do. Can your God bless the food of somebody and multiply it to feed thousands? He cannot show me. What Muhammad he did, he claimed he stole the miracle of Jesus and he claimed it to his God. You see the thief? But he himself could not do anything. And he himself, he started making poo, poo saying lies that he is a scientist, he's a doctor. He knows how the baby created. And look here at the story here. The story here that the guy, he came to Muhammad and he said to him, I will ask you a question. Supposedly, this is the quiz of a prophethood. He want to prove if Muhammad is a prophet or not. So he said to him. So he came to the prophet and said, "I will ask you about the three things which nobody knows unless he is a prophet." Look how stupid the story is. How you are going to ask him about the three things nobody knows unless he is a prophet, and you know you know the answer already. That's mean you are a prophet too. People, are you listening? How he said to him, imagine, imagine you call me now in Skype and you say, Christian Prince, I'm going to ask you a question. And if you give me the right answer, which is nobody knows except a prophet, then for sure you are a prophet. Okay. He know the right answer, which means he knew the answer already. So he's a prophet. The guy who's asking the question, he must be a prophet too. And then he asked him, very funny question, what is the first meal we will eat in the heaven? What first meal? What are you talking about? Muhammad, he said to him, we are going to eat the liver of the whale. The liver of the whale. Anyone knows why he chose the liver of the whale? Why the liver of the whale? Who knows?
Muslims believe, the Arab believe in the in the legions that if you eat from the from the uh, there is there is something it's called uh, amber. Anyone knows what the, the amber 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 and amber have many source. And this is a sexual. This is sexual. Uh, it's like uh, it's. Uh, I don't know what. Uh, I'm not a doctor. You know, forgive me. But the the deer have it, the whale have it supposedly, and it smells so good. And this is how the male he do uh, seduce the female, like the deer he have it. The male deer he have it, so he seduce the the, the female deer with it. All right, so. The Muslims they grab that part and they have an idea that this is generated in the liver of the whale so if you eat from there you will have a very powerful sexual desire because remember Muhammad is preparing them for to go to heaven which is a heaven of six bang bang bing bong and then Muhammad here he is explaining to the guy all the answers and he says if the man discharged proceed the women the child resembled the father, and obviously this is very stupid. This charge have nothing to do with resembling who? I mean, and look, this is what to prove Muhammad to be a true prophet. This is what to prove Muhammad to be a true prophet, and now we know that this is false. That means Muhammad proved to us from the same question that Muhammad is a false prophet. How you believe in this garbage? Yusuf, are you there? What happened to Yusuf? What, what happened to Yusuf? Where did he go? Look like Yusuf, he took a vacation. Let me call him again. Maybe he flee. Maybe he retired. Okay, go. Maybe he's offline. He left. And look, guys, look how the Muslim they fabricate the translation. You see here, here, look what the Muslims added to, to make Muhammad look sound better. So they added the chromosome and the genes and the ovum central portion. Like, what the heck? Muhammad he never spoke about this. He said the woman water is the man. Obviously, he's speaking about the sperm. Look what he's saying. What what a chromosome? What a chromosome, man. The man water is white. The women is yellow. What ovum central portion? Where do you get this from? And Muhammad is the one who said, whoever comes first, the baby will resemble the parents. So this is about the orgasm, not about the chromosome. You know, if I if I ever get married, I will never do that. I don't want my son to look like me. Unbelievable! You want I mean that's scary. In my house, I don't even have a single mirror. Because when I moved here. There was a mirror, by the way. I entered the room, in the bedroom, I saw a mirror. I get scared. Like, who's that? So I left. I came back. He's there. I left. And then Khadija, she came and she said to me, sit in the top of my right leg. I said, she said, do you see him? I said, yes. Then she said to me, sit in the top of my left leg. And then she said, do you see him? I said, yes. Then she said to me, sit in the top of me. I sat in the top of her. In a good way, by the way, in good way, brother. And then she said, do you see him? She said, I said, yes. Then she took off her clothes and that scared the hell of me and the hell of the angels. So both of us, we left. True story. Hello? Hello? Do we have any Muslim want to say any, something? Any, anything? Anyone? And by the way, this is what happened. But both of us, we left, and the mirror cannot see me no more. 
so I can't see him no more. It was in the mirror. My friend, Islam is the most stupid religion, and anyone argue about that he is fooling himself. I want people to download this video, especially when the Muslim he called us, and you know, cut it parts and let everybody see how stupid Islam is. If Muhammad lie about those things, obviously he's a liar. There's no, no there's no other question. There's no need to even to debate about anything. There's no way this guy is a prophet of God. Especially he claimed that this is what Jibreel told him, as we showed you. This is not his private idea. Like I can say, okay, I said to you yesterday something. Well, I'm wrong. I'm not really a doctor. I don't know. You know, I, I was guessing. But Muhammad, he made it clear that the one who told him that, it was Jibreel. Jibreel came to me, and now he just told me. You see? Just Allah Messenger, the Prophet, he said, the, the Nabi, he said, just now Jibreel has informed me about that. So Muhammad, he claimed that the information he have is coming from the guy who is supposed to be an angel. His name is Jibreel. By the way, Jibreel just told me now that uh, <clears throat> um, uh, a Christian prince look like you are uh, qualified to be a prophet. So I give you a prophecy. Jibreel just told me that this month, there's many women, they will have their period. And I challenge you to prove me wrong. Jibreel just told me that there's many news station, they will provide the news. Jibreel just now told me that there is somebody somewhere right now is fighting with his wife. How I know that? How I know that? How I know that? I mean, come on, face it. Jibreel just told me that somebody somewhere having orgasm right now, he, he, not he, not she, and that will make the baby boy. And Jibreel told me that somewhere there's a woman now, she is having orgasm, and now she will make the baby, baby girl. Good news. Oh boy. Any Abdul? <clears throat> Isa, a Muslim Abdul is calling. How are you, Isa? <laughs> I'm pretty good. I want to thank you for um, unblocking my number. Mm. So what what do you think about Isa, the topic we're talking about? Okay, so are you still talking about the topic of the how the baby resembles? Yeah. The, okay. So actually what you did was you, you, you kind of caught yourself into a, a trap. Man, okay, how is that happen? Go ahead. Okay, so try to follow along with me now. Hmm. So you're saying the, the, the Jewish person, hmm. um, he came to the, the prophet and he said, <clears throat> I want to ask you about three things that only a prophet knows about. Hmm. Okay, hmm. so we're supposed to, and, and keep in mind, Person, his, his information, he's getting it from the teachings of Moses, mm. and you're supposed to be the Moses as being a prophet, right? Mm. Go ahead. Okay, so after the prophet answered him those three questions, mm. the Jewish person, he confirmed that he was indeed, Muhammad was indeed a prophet, and that he answered correctly because he said only a prophet would know these answers. Mm -hmm. So you're not supposed to take science over the teachings of Moses. Mm -hmm. So you you have two choices, which is so the teaching of Moses. Right. So you are saying the teaching of Moses says if somebody have orgasm first, the baby will be a boy. Yeah, because the Jewish person said he confirmed and he said. Okay, well you have to show me then. You have to show me that Moses says that. Go ahead, I'm listening. Okay, the proof is in the fact that the Jewish person confirmed that mm -hmm. he answered correctly. The Jewish ah, person. the confirmed that the Jewish guy he said that. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> but yeah. my friend, the Jewish guy, uh, first of all, first of all, the Jewish guy is, I don't believe even that he's a Jew. Secondly, this is what the Muslim says, and the proof of that, his name is Abdullah. His name, his name is Abdullah. How how somebody is a Jew, his name is Abdullah. That is impossible. Well, you can't, 
no, the no. Is, because the Jews, because the Jews, they don't call themselves the slave of Allah. Obviously, this is the name of somebody we do not know, or maybe it's a Jew, and later the Muslim they change his name. Secondly, let us say I'm a Christian prince, and I say, I say to you that if there is a question, if you answer me, there's no nobody knows what the meaning except a prophet. But then I cannot back up where I got my information from because you say this guy is following Musa's. Where Musa says to this Jew, if you have orgasm first, the baby will be a boy. If you have orgasm first, the baby will be a girl. You have to show me. Otherwise, all of this is a lie, which means now we have two liars. We have maybe this guy is trying to get Muhammad busted. If he's a Jew, he asked him a question. If he gave us a false answer, Muhammad is a liar and he will get him busted. If he gave us, gave us a true answer, that means Muhammad is a true prophet. Now, as you see, regardless who is the one who said what, Muhammad, he gave a false answer. And the important for us that obviously this Jew is a hypocrite liar and Muhammad is a liar for he gave a false answer. And now you are trying to avoid, you are trying to avoid the problem. The problem is that your prophet, he said, now Jibreel told me, correct? Uh, let me, let me respond to you. Hmm. You said first, first of all, you said that how do we know that he's really a Jew? So the problem with that is you can't, Pick and choose which parts of the hadith you that you uh, mm. that you deem as being valid or not. Okay. The hadith says he was a Jew, and okay. you're going to accept the fact. Okay. Where is the where is the hadith where is the hadith says he's a Jew? Can you show me? The hadith said a Jewish person came to the prophet and asked him. He said, "I will ask you three mm. questions that only a prophet knows about." Mm. It says and here in front of me. Okay, hold on, hold on. In front of me, it doesn't mention in this hadith specifically. It doesn't mention anywhere that he's a Jew. Secondly. Let us say for the sake of argument, he's a Jew. How your prophet give a false answer? Who said it was false? Because, that, that's, that's because not, everybody that's knows that this is, this is a lie. The, the orgasm of the man first or the women first have nothing to do with the gender of the baby or the look of the baby. Okay, let me explain. Now, first of all, we're not atheists. We're supposed to be following the teachings of our prophet. We are, not, follow, we are not what? We are not what? I don't hear you. We're not atheists. Okay, we're supposed to be following the teachings of, of our prophet. Okay. So, according to the teachings of Moses, as affirmed by this Jewish person, the Muhammad answered correct. That means that Jesus also taught this. The second point is, what did Jesus himself? I mean, Moses. What did Jesus himself? How did he answer this question? That's 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 another question that you have to answer. My friend, you have to show me that this Jew. When you you are saying to me, you are saying to me that the Jew he confirmed what Muhammad he said, correct? Okay, obviously now we right. have we have two liars because you are saying to me a Jew, you are not saying to me Musa's. And let me tell you something: if Musa says that, I will say to Musa's, you are a liar too. If even if Musa okay. says that, even if Musa says that, I will say you are a liar. That means you're a disbeliever then, because well, no, Jesus because because yeah, I will disbelieve because if Musa is saying something stupid, that means he's a liar. So now you are trying to make it look like, okay, if Musa says that, then we have to take it as it is, and whatever he says, it doesn't matter. But you cannot prove that, and you, you are not you are not picking up where the Jew he got this from. Where Musa, he said, if a man have orgasm first, the baby will be a boy. If the women have orgasm, have, 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 a, have, a, have a girl, uh, uh, is a girl, like uh, uh, first, uh, the baby will be a girl. Show me. And then I will say to you right now, life on air, I will say then Musa is lying. But you cannot do that. So you are trying to defend the honor of your prophet by his lies. <laughs> I can. It's easy because the Jewish person, he doesn't know science. He's not living here in the. Place. My friend, my friend, my, my my friend. That will make two liars now. We have the Jewish guy and Muhammad. Obviously, the Jew, the Jew always they trap Muhammad. As an example, the Jews they came to Muhammad. They asked him about Alexander the Great, and then he told them a story about him. And the Jews they start laughing at, at him because the story is fiction, is is a lie. So when when somebody, if I ask you now, I always I ask the Muslim questions just for for a laugh. I don't approve Muhammad. I say how the baby created, and then you say, and I say to you, nobody knows the answer for them except the prophet. Look with me here, how stupid even this this challenge is. Because if this Jew and you claim that the Jew he knew the answer, right? Okay, if nobody knows the answer for this question except the prophet, how this Jew knows unless he's a prophet too? Because he knows the teachings of Moses. That's no, but he point. said no, no, but he said nobody knows except the prophet. Nobody knows. Not a single Jew, not nobody. It says nobody knows what is the answer for those questions unless he is a prophet. Read with me. I will ask because, you. Hold on. I will ask you. I will ask you about the three things which nobody knows unless he to be a prophet. Unless nobody. So how he know? How he say nobody knows? 
and this is the challenge to prove that who is a prophet or not which means this is secretly knowledge this is secret knowledge how this man he knew something nobody knows but only prophet he know that means he is a prophet too no 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 that means that he learned from the teachings of Moses because but, but if he learned from the teaching of Moses that means everybody knows <laughs> and that's mean there's no, no that, that's mean there's no need to challenge yeah. anyone because this will be written in the Torah okay. hold on hold on my friend my friend everybody is laughing at you now I'm not I don't mean to insult if this is in the teaching of the Jews and as you said that's mean everybody knows what he knows but he says there I will ask you three things which nobody knows except a prophet not the Jews not the Christians nobody knows only only prophet they knew this the answer for those questions so you are now you, you are now trying to defend a, a Jew making fun of your prophet obviously he's making fun of your prophet it's obviously if he didn't know if only a prophet knew the answer how would he be able to affirm it unless he knew what Moses unless he, unless he's a scumbag this is the, this is the answer unless he's a scumbag he's a liar he's a hypocrite Unless this story maybe is, 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 a, is a story of Muhammad fabricated. So <clears throat> if, if I confirm what is wrong, that's mean uh, doesn't mean doesn't make any difference. The, what the Jew confirm here, if the Jew confirm it, that's mean he's a scumbag too, and he's a liar because this has nothing to do with God and it cannot be about God because God will never teach something stupid like that. So now look what, what you are doing. You are trying to defend your prophet saying something stupid that the women have orgasm first, the baby will be a girl, the man have orgasm first, the baby will be a boy, by saying, okay, the one who confirmed that is a Jew. So your witness is a Jew? According to the hadith, you use the hadith as an evidence. My friend, okay, as, 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 isn't it the Quran says that the Jews are corrupt people and they are liars? And they are the worst enemy of Islam? Now they are the best friend for you? Let's stick to the topic. We are sticking uh, to the topic. How you accept how you accept a Jew to confirm what Muhammad is saying to be true. And Muhammad is saying that the one who told him is Jibreel. The answer is coming from Jibreel. And if the Jew confirm what the what the prophets say, that means the Jew obviously is making fun of Muhammad. Or he is a liar because this is a false answer. So you are trying to avoid to answer why Muhammad is saying something which is not true, which means he's making up a lie. He claimed that Jibreel talked to him. Jibreel spoke to him gave him the answer and now you are trying to confirm all this lie by saying okay a jew so told him that so if the jew said that he agreed that means muhammad is saying the truth okay well, why don't you resolve it very simply by telling us what did jesus say about what makes the baby a boy or girl no what, what, what jesus said what well, jesus did not talk about it he didn't talk about it or you don't know what he said no he did not talk show me what did jesus said where, where jesus said go ahead, go ahead so, so if you don't know what Jesus said about it, then it's possible that Jesus could be agreeing with what Muhammad and this Jewish person said. That no, but, uh, Jesus always speak wisdom. You know, there is nowhere he says something stupid. Show me that he say something stupid like your prophet. And look what look what you are doing. Look what you are doing. You are you are you are, you are running forward. Let us say there is all the ones people they believe in them. They say and they agree with Muhammad, but this is not true. That will make them all liars. Doesn't matter no, who they are. Doesn't matter who they are. Doesn't matter who they are. Let us say, let us say, there's one thousand million a prophet in the world. The people they call them a prophet, and they agree with your prophet. And this is not a true. It's mean all of them they are lying. Doesn't matter. So now what we what we have is a proof that Muhammad is a liar. Because what is important is that this is a proven to be false, big fat lie. And you're a prophet. Claim okay. that the one who told him that is Jibril. Do you see what he says? Jibril, inform me right now. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. no problem. All right. Let, 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 let me ask you, let me ask you. So do you agree? Do you agree, Isa? Do you agree that if a man have orgasm first, the baby will be a boy? Do you agree with that? Okay, first of all, that's not what the hadith says. No, this is what the hadith says. No, this is what the hadith says. This is what the hadith says. Okay, let me show you. Let me show you. Okay, 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 okay. Here we go. Here we go. I will show you. This is what the hadith says. Here we go. It says, I will read it for you in Arabic, and I will show it to you in English. Here we go. ماء الرجل أبيض وماء المرأة أصفر فإذا فإذا اجتمعا فعلى مني الرجل مني المرأة أذكر بإذن الله أذكر أذكر بإذن الله became a meal by the will of Allah وإذا على مني المرأة مني الرجل أنثى بإذن الله so if the woman a, a, a sperm came first before the man the the baby will be أنثى which means female as you see this is the word let me show, let me highlight for you the word أذكر and I change any Muslim to say to me to call if you speak Arabic to say I'm lying this is adkara and this is untha so you're a prophet claim that what make the baby a boy is who have an orgasm first if the man have orgasm first the baby will be a boy if the women have orgasm first the baby will be a girl 
If we go to the other hadith, it says the following. Let us go there. Muhammad here, he make it more simple. The messenger of Allah said, the man water is thick and white. So he describing what? Describing specifically the, 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 the gushing fluid from the private part of the man. And the women water is thin and yellow. He's talking about what? You know, if you go to the other hadith where Muhammad, he described to the women who have an orgasm that she have to, to, to wash, he described it exactly as we see here. He said it is yellow and thin and she have to wash if she have orgasm. Let us go to the hadith. Here we go. Here we go. If we go to this hadith, this is Sahih al-Bukhari. So you cannot say it's a lie. The, uh, a woman, she came to Muhammad and she said, Allah is not shy to tell you that the truth is entirely for women to, to took a bath after she had a wet dream, which means sexual discharge. He said, yes, if she noticed this charge, she noticed, which means this is something is coming out. On that, Umm Salama says, she said, she laughed. Does the women have orgasm, discharge? He said, yes. How then does he, her son, resemble her? You know, this is, by the way, false translation. The word is al-walad, which means the, the baby, the, the, the born baby. So how her baby resemble her? So your prophet here, make it clear that he's talking about the sexual fluid coming from the women, which is a yellow and thin, and this is something is discharged coming out in the vagina. So obviously, Muhammad, he made a big mistake. And Muhammad here, by claiming that the one who told him that is Jibreel, he proved to us that he is a false prophet. Go ahead, Mr. Isa, I'm listening. Okay. So first of all, the hadith says that you confirmed that Muhammad was speaking the truth. Okay. So we, as being people who follow scripture, we're not supposed to take science over the scripture. Hmm. So you can, like I said before, the, the hadith does not mention the word orgasm, but the hadith, says that if the, the, the water of the male, of the man, precedes the water of the female, it does not mention anything about orgasm. So what is, so what is the water of the man? What is the water of the man? Hold on, Isa. What is the water of the man, which is white and thick, precede the water of the man? What is that? Is that orgasm or not? It says the water is white, right? It yeah, says the water is white. So is, is, is any this is orgasm? Is any this is orgasm? Is, is any this is the cum of the man? But, but there's a big difference between the the semen of the man and the, the fluid of the woman and an orgasm. There's a big difference there. That's the whole point. And the point you're not seeing is Okay, so are you saying that, that a man, are you saying a man, he can have or, he can have orgasm without having a sperm? That's not what I said. Okay, but the, the, your fluid, prophet, your prophet said. Lisa, Lisa, listen. listen. The fluid remains, the fluid is the body of the, of the woman, even hours and days after sex. It does not have to mean an orgasm. That's the whole point you're missing here. It says if the water of the male precedes the water of the female, that could be at any time, not at the point of the sexual. Okay, read, read the me. second thing is okay, read me. No, no, no. Wait, hold on, hold, hold on, hold on. Read me. It says your prophet saying the water of the man, the, the man is white, and the water of the woman is thin. And who is whoever of them comes first? Does it say comes first? Comes first. The child resembles the parents. So you are saying the opposite. You are now you are making fun of your prophet. Because your prophet saying whoever comes first, it is about orgasm. What happened? What happened? Sorry. Are you there? Okay, you can call a friend. Let me know. I, I will, I, I'm not going to. It's very embarrassing what you said because obviously you destroyed your prophet without knowing. You were explaining that this has nothing to do with the coming first. And etc. And this is the truth, supposedly. So your prophet was lying. And thank you very much for saying that. You still alive? You can call Zakanaik. 
Okay, well, Santa Claus is coming to town. Thank you very much, Asa, for calling. And look like you are out of words. I'm not going to wait for you for long. I hear you're breathing and you have nothing to say. He was making fun of his prophet, saying, This doesn't say that uh, the one who comes first. It doesn't say that the one who have this is not about orgasm. No. Right? Yes, Asa. What happened, Asa? Go ahead. What do you think? You said this is not orgasm. This is orgasm, as you see in the screen. Go ahead. Okay, so like I said, the hadith doesn't mention anything. No, it, oh, no it says orgasm. orgasm. It but, says orgasm. It says comes first. What comes first mean? Yeah, that's not the word for orgasm, though. That means oh, that so what, what comes first mean? It means once it means once the this the the male reproductive fluid is in the female. It could be at any point, not at the not at the exact time of of the sexual encounter. So the, when somebody says comes first, that means this is not orgasm orgasm in your in your dictionary. I'm saying the hadith doesn't say orgasm. It says no, it says whoever of them comes first. And comes first is very simple to know. Comes first. It is orgasm. Okay, and that's how you interpret it. But I am not interpreting. No, this is what it says. This is what it says. It, this is what it says. Let, let me let me read. Okay, let me read, let me read listen. for you. Let me read for you. You see, in Arabic, it says, "Fa'iyahuma sabaka kana shaba sabaka sabaka." The one who comes first, and this is your Muslim translation, and this is Sahih Hadith. So don't tell me it does not say that. Whoever of them comes first. Now you tell me what comes first mean according to you. I'm listening. Okay, if the prophet wanted to say orgasm, you could have easily said orgasm. This is what he no. said. He said that. He said that in Arabic. He said, Sabaka, 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 the man or Rajul Sabaka. The, the, the okay. water of the man if, came, came, he came. This is what he said. Okay, if this is what the hadith says, this is what Muslims believe because we don't take science over the hadith. All right, no so my question to my, my question to you is you can easily resolve this right now by telling us what Jesus said about how the baby either resembles the, the mother or the father or how the sex of the baby is determined. Well, now, if you don't have knowledge about that, hmm. then you can't speak on this topic because we people... Who no, we can, we can, we can, we can. You know, my friend, this is, this is, a, this is a false logic. Oh, thank problem. you, thank you. Okay. I, I, will, I, will, I will answer offline, offline. hold on. Mm -hmm. Guys, if Jesus did not talk about that, that will not change anything. That your prophet is telling a lie. Jesus did not come to teach us how he made babies. Jesus, he created people, as the Quran says, from the mud. He made a bird, you know, but he did not tell us how he did that, right? It's your God and your prophet who's trying to be smart people, supposedly, or a smart, intelligent alien, trying to give us details. The Quran, when the Quran says that Jesus, he made the blind see, and even the Bible says that, the, the Bible did not say really what happened exactly, but obviously he's creating eyes for him. But how he created the eyes, this is the power of God. But when Muhammad, he go in details and he tried to be a smart doctor who graduated from uh, a big school, explaining to us how his God made the baby. And then we find that this is stupid to say. And he's speaking about like, you know, uh, uh, it's not about the miracle thing. It's like about me and you, like me as a male, you as a female. We have a sexual relationship together and then we have a baby. It's not about God creating because God, he have a power he can do. God, he don't even need to pass all those uh, stages, let us say. God, he can say be and you will be, that's it. But by the way, the Quran says, if Allah wanted something to happen, he say be and it is going to be, but he never created anything by be. Never. He said the similarity of Jesus is the same as Adam. He said to him be and he was. But the fact, we go and read the Quran, we will find that Adam was not created by be. It took him long time to create him and same as uh, Jesus Allah he sent his uh, spirit and he breathed into Mary vagina and then he made her pregnant and then the delivery and then she sat under the palm tree and then the baby came it was not be and he was so when Muhammad and his God they describe for us actually if we even this is in the Quran you see in the Quran the Quran even do more more harm to Islam. Hello. 
Yeah, hi, Christian Prince. Hey, my friend, how are you? I'm fine, it's Mr. A. Hi. Yes, my friend, I wanted to share something here. Uh, I heard a lot of nonsense and uh, about this uh, sperm and orgasm. Okay. Um, I will tell you something. A man's sperm contains 22 chromosomes as well as either one X or Y chromosome. All right. And a woman's contains 22 chromosomes hmm. plus, plus an X chromosome. So it has nothing to do with who orgasms first. <clears throat> it's all in the man's uh, sperm, which either the X chromosome will reach the egg or the Y chromosome will reach the egg. Yeah. So it absolutely does not have anything to do with who has the orgasm first. Yeah, but the idea first. of this is a Muslim that as long uh, a Jew, he told Muhammad, nobody knows this uh, except the prophet. And obviously the Jews look like he's a god for them, suddenly he became a god. And as long as the Jew, he confirmed that Muhammad is saying the truth, that means this must be right. And you can take the, take, uh, take the science against uh, the Jew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's ridiculous, man. Yeah. How can you even believe such a thing? It's uh, amazing how the brain works on uh, specific people. Yeah. You know, brain can work in mysterious ways. Yeah, and but obviously the Muslim brain is not working at all. <laughs> Something like that. All right, my friend. Thank you very much for calling. Take care. Thank you. Bye. All right. Here, we, here we have the Quran in front of us, uh, chapter twenty-three, speaking about verse number fourteen. Then we made the sperm into a clot, and this is again another another poo poo, because the sperm is not going to be transformed into a dead blood. Is that correct? Yes, Isa. Okay. Um, I just heard what the caller said, and like I was trying to explain to you, hmm. uh, we don't follow science if it goes against something that is confirmed in the teachings of a prophet. That's a very, very easy principle to yeah, but understand. This is, but you see, this is this is can be accepted if we are talking about a miraculous thing, like a miracle God He did, as an example. Uh, God here resurrected somebody from death, but this is cannot be explained. No problem. We can accept that But when we talk about a man and women having orgasm and then how the baby became this is not about God involvement because God He made Adam and Eve and he gave them the ability to, to reproduce, correct? Yes, okay So now what what Muhammad is talking about here is the reproduction process is not about a miracle It's just a reproduction which is our supposedly God creation anyway, so God created how man is he created Adam, he created Eve, and then he gave them the ability if they have sexual relationship together, they can have babies. So it's just a normal procedure of reproduction. Allah or your God or my God is not really involved in it no more because he created the first man and women and the rest are coming from them. But now your God is giving us details about how the reproduction is done, not a miracle. So look what the Quran says. And we made the sperm into a congealed blood. Do you know what congealed blood is? Yeah, it's a blood. Okay, what? No, what kind of blood it is? I'm not sure. It's dead blood. It is dead blood. So Muhammad claims. Hey, I'm not sure what, what congealed. No, congealed blood is like you know, if you if you get yourself injured, as an example, there is a there is a cloth will will cover the, your skin to protect it from any things to penetrate. It's like something normal. The the the, the blood the blood have a material. Which, if it's exposed to air, that blood will go solid, will become uh, dead, and will die, and it will make like will make a cover until your skin is healed, and then that blood will 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 drop by itself, which is going to be like a like a bandage. You know, God gave us a natural bandage over our skin. So your prophet claiming here that the sperm made into a congealed blood, and this is again a very bad mistake. This is God talking. You see, he's not talking about the miracle now. He's talking about a normal procedure how a human being reproduction work okay so what does the gospel say about about this process of a uh, of how the baby is you know you see you, you see you, you, you see like uh, okay hold on if we you know uh, uh, for, for us we can take whatever the bible says 
and the Bible, the, the Bible in many verses in the Bible speak about many things. As an example, uh, how how God created us, He created the flesh, He created etc. Uh, and I, I believe that Muhammad he was trying somehow to copy from the Jews something the Jews they knew. And Muhammad always, when he copy from the Jews, he make mistakes. So you know he he heard the Jews saying something. And he decide that you know uh, uh, you know he decide okay the Jews are people who knows whatever they say it must be true so as long as the Jews they say something then I will take it as it is and as you said to me because like you are convinced too that the Jews they will never lie to your prophet right so whatever the Jews they say Muhammad he will take it as an example Muhammad he took everything the Jews they speak about as an example the speaking ant the ant who talk this is from the legion of the Jews Muhammad he heard it he took it he put it there. The Jews, they, they, they have many false stories about like as Suleiman, Suleiman, he died and he was in his in his throne for many days standing and nobody noticed, standing up actually. Uh, the, the the genie uh, who who ha, who stole the ring of Suleiman, all those are legions of the Jews. So obviously Muhammad, have a, the, the Jews have a huge impact on him and he took all the lies the Jews, they spread around, which is a fiction stories, and he considered it as a fact to be part of his religion. So now Muhammad actually he is a victim of what the Jews told him and because he trusted the Jews you know if you go to the to the uh, to the the Talmud as an example or the legion of the Jews you will find a lot of crazy stuff and Muhammad obviously like as an example if we go right now I will show you that the the story of Azab al-Qabr you heard of Azab al-Qabr before correct no okay Azab al-Qabr uh, the, the torture of the grave. You never heard of it? Yeah, the, punishment, the punishment of the grave. Yeah. yeah, of course. How Muhammad he heard about Azab al-Qabr? Do you know? I do not understand that prophets and messengers receive revelation from Allah, from okay. God. Okay, hold on. Where, when Muhammad first time he mentioned, mentioned that he received revelation from Allah about the punishment of the grave. How that happened? I don't quite understand the question. You okay, let, me, let me show you. Let me show you. Here we go. This is Sahih Bukhari in front of your eyes, and this is proven again that Muhammad is a victim of the Jews. The Jews are making fun of him, and Muhammad, whatever they say to him, he take it and he accept it. He think the Jews are always telling the truth, and whatever the Jews they say, they must be truthful, and they are people of the book. So they knew what they're talking about. Aisha said that the Jews came to her and mentioned the punishment in the grave, saying to her, May Allah protect you from the punishment of the grave. Aisha then asked Allah Messenger about the punishment of the grave. He said, yes, there is a punishment in the grave. Uh, Aisha added, after that, I never saw Allah Messenger, but always seeking refuge by Allah, with Allah from the punishment of the grave. So you're a prophet. He never, never mentioned the punishment of the grave. Actually, in different hadith, Aisha, she said to the Jew, you are a liar. There's no such a thing. You're a liar. So uh, Aisha, obviously, she never heard this before. And to the point she is accusing the women who told her that story that she is she's a liar and there's no such a thing and when Muhammad he came and he listened to her suddenly after that moment Muhammad never pray as you see in the hadith never pray without saying I seek refuge by Allah from the point of the grave so why Muhammad never mentioned that before until this Jew came because he never heard of it as simple as that you making an assumption that he didn't Mention that okay. No, I no, I am not making assumption. Is is it is it Aisha? She accused accused uh, accused the women to, to be a liar. She said to him, You are lying. There's no such a thing. That's mean Aisha who lived with Muhammad in I'm his sorry. house. She never heard Muhammad saying that. You have to you have to admit you cannot you cannot get away with it. You see, imagine my wife who sat next to me, and I am a prophet who pray every day, and then she hear me and she watch me every day praying. She never heard me saying, I seek refuge from the punch of the grave ever. Until the Jewish women she said that to her and then she witnessed that since then Muhammad never never pray to Allah without saying I seek refuge from the punishment of the grave So since then the prayer became in like it's impossible to see Muhammad praying Without mentioning I seek refuge from the point of the grave. So why Muhammad why she never heard him saying that prayer before? She never saw him saying that before why? Because simply Muhammad he just learned it after that you see read really carefully and after that I never seen Allah messenger praying but he seek refuge by Allah from the punch of the grave 
so Aisha she is confirming she is confirming that Muhammad he don't know about this he just learn it and since he learned it never stop using it and speaking about it okay now the first thing is um the hadith where you're saying that Aisha said to the Jew that you're a liar I don't that's not that's not the hadith that you're showing me right now okay so if I show it to you are you saying to me I'm lying to you or what well you do make a lot a lot of lies up so it could you have, you have to prove it you have to prove it okay in front of everybody if I show you that hadith if I look for the hadith saying that Aisha says to the Jew you are a liar what you will do well, like I said, I didn't say that every single word that comes out of your mouth okay, is a so lie. Then, but so, I, then I don't, so then, don't, don't speak of something you do not know. Either you say this is a lie, and that will make a big deal for you, okay? Or you say I don't. It, does, it doesn't. It doesn't. Doesn't change anything. So, do you want to make a challenge in front of everybody that Aisha she accused the Jews to say a lie? Okay. Let me explain something to you because mm. we have principles. Okay, mm. we as Muslims have principles. Mm. Now, the principles are. And this is how you really can't um, get away with a lot of trickery mm. with me like you do with other callers, okay? Mm. Anything that you show me that's from Bukhari or Muslim, mm. these two collections of hadith, I'll believe it. Mm. Anything. Okay. And anything from the Quran, anything that's in the Quran, mm. we believe that that is the 100% truth. Mm. Now that doesn't mean that the way you spin it off and make your own explanation of the of the hadith or the Quran mm. is accurate, because sometimes, many times, as a matter of fact, you will take a hadith or a Quranic verse and you will make your own interpretation, mm. where everyone knows that Muslims are, we have the most right, we have the most uh, ability to explain the meaning of any. Particular hadith or Quran. Okay, let me ask you. Let me ask you. What is the punishment of the grave? What is the what is the reason for the punishment of the grave? What is the like? What is uh, what exactly you did to make you be punished in the grave, according to your understanding? Okay, so the punishment of the grave is to cleanse the person of sins that he did not repent for when he was alive. It's not very difficult to to to. Comprehend. This is the point of any punishment. Are you sure? Is to, Are you sure? Yes, I'm 100 sure. Okay. So, now, so it's question, not it's not because somebody he piss. Yeah, this is a sin. Somebody piss. Allah will punish him in the grave if he piss. If he does not take care to make sure that he that he cleans himself. But you see, but, but so is, is that is that pissing is a sin? Is if you piss and you and the and the piss touch your skin, is that a sin? No, the sin is if you use the bathroom hmm. and you're not careful to make sure that your clothes are clean hmm. from the urine. This is sin. Yeah. This is sin. This so is why your so how your prophet he order you to drink camel urine? I'm sorry. If 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 the if the urine touch you, that is a sin in Islam. Then how the prophet order you to drink camel urine? Because camel urine, the, any urine from an animal that can be eaten. It's not considered to be impure. Ah, so so the urine of the dog is not is not any pure. Any animal that can be eaten, a dog eaten? cannot be eaten. Ah, ah, okay. So any animal can be eaten. That the urine is not okay. So you can drink urine. Okay, I see. Okay. Now listen. Uh, when you say to me that if you don't clean your urine from you, and that is a sin, and that will punish you, does that mean if I show you that your prophet that urine he used to touch him? That mean he is going to be punished in the grave. Let me ask you a question. Before Don't ask me a question. Grave, Don't ask me a question. You see, you play games. You keep. I will. I will go with you. Are you saying that your prophet will be punished for his urine touch him? The prophet would never be punished for anything because no, see, prophet, see, so it's in a second, in a second, you change your mind. Now, where Muhammad he learned that the urine, if the urine touched your skin, is going to punish you, is, is going to cause you to be punished in the grave. We'll learn, learn that from. Is it from the Jews? 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 The definition of a prophet or a messenger. No, no, no. I'm asking you where Muhammad he learned this knowledge that the urine is the punish is the reason to be punished in the in the uh, grave. Is that from the Jews? It's from Allah, because like I said before, so all it's not from the Jews. It's not from the Jews. No, 
No. No, it's not from okay. the Jews. Let us see this hadith then. Guys, be my witness. He said it's not from the Jews. In a second, this guy, he will change his mind. All right. I want to see this. I want to see you change my mind. Go ahead. Let us see. Let us see. Here we go. Aisha, she said, a Jewish woman entered upon me, into me, and said, the torment of the grave is because of the urine. I said, you are lying. What Aisha, she said? You are lying. She said, no, it's true. We cut our skin and our clothes because of it. The messenger of Allah went out and he and to pray and our voice become loud. He said, what is this? I said, I told him what she had said. He said, she spoke in the truth. After that day, I never offered any, he never offered any prayer, but he say, following the prayer, after he followed the prayer, Rabba Jibreel wa Mikael wa Israfil, etc., etc., I seek refuge from you against the punishment of the grave. So Muhammad here never, never since then, Aisha, she never heard of that before. And you are the one who said to me, where, where you get this one, uh, that the Jews, she said to him, you are lying, right? You remember? You said you fabricate, you lie. Here we go, Aisha, she's accusing the Jew that she is a fabricate, she is, she is a liar, and this is going to be true. Why? Because this is stupid. Why Aisha, she's saying to the Jew, this is this is, this is a lie? Because this is a stupid, obviously. So the Jew, she said that, Muhammad, he take that, Muhammad, he believe in that, Muhammad approved that, and after that, Muhammad, he never prayed to Allah unless he say, I seek refuge by Allah from the portion of the grave. So the question to you, as long as you are the one who said to me, Allah is the one who told him that, so why Muhammad never before that mentioned the punishment of the grave in his prayer? He was not aware of it? Okay, so who collected the hadith that you're showing us now? Where do you collect the hadith? You Muslims was the one who collected the hadith. No, what, what, what book of hadith was it, uh, is it from? This is Sunan and Nasai. Okay, so it's most likely it's probably a weak hadith. because It is not a weak hadith. Here we go. This is not a weak hadith. Here we go. Read with me. It says Hassan. Just because, uh, okay, let me show you. Okay, hold on. Let us, let us see you from Al Bukhari. Let us get you. You see, the Muslim they want to play all the games, all the games, all the games. Okay, let us see if this is can be found in Al Bukhari. Okay, all right. This is Al Bukhari. So, what we will do now. Muhammad, he never mentioned this prayer before. He just copying from the Jew. As simple as that. Never ever spoke of it. You told me so that I, the one, I, you told I, me I that just, the one, I asked you, who is the one who told him that? You said Allah. As you see, it was a Jewish woman who came to his house, have an argument with his wife, and Aisha, she could not, she could not believe it. And Muhammad, he confirmed what the Jew, he, she said. So how does that mean that the Jewish person taught him that if he confirmed because it? he never prayed that before if the Jewish women If the Jewish women is not the first one to mention that why Muhammad as you see how important it is to say this prayer After that he I, she never saw him read with me after that. I never saw Allah messenger But seeking refuge with Allah from the punishment of the grave after that. So Muhammad If this is very important that you should add in every prayer after the prayer to seek refuge from the portion of the grave. Why Muhammad never mentioned it before? Why suddenly now after the Jew, she came to him, suddenly he repeated every time he pray. Obviously, he just learned it. He liked the idea. Muhammad is a copy-paste guy. The Jews, they say something, whatever the Jews, they say, and the Jews, they are making fun of him, obviously. That's how you interpret it. My, my friend, thank said. you for calling. That's it. We are done. I'm not going to waste my time. It's obvious. Correct, guys? If, if we ask this guy who is the one who told Muhammad this he said Allah okay why Allah never why he never mentioned it before why Allah why Allah never mentioned it before no no I'm done I'm done today you know we are done for today why Allah never mentioned it before it doesn't make sense if Muhammad he learned this before to the point Aisha she's accusing the Jewish woman that she's a liar you're lying that's what she said to her this is cannot be true. This is a lie, which means this is stupid. You see, Aisha, she is more qualified to be uh, uh, a prophet from Muhammad himself.
because Muhammad obviously getting himself busted by copying the Jews whatever the Jews they say Muhammad he take the Jews story and he put it in his Quran the ant she warned the ant about the other ants because Suleiman is coming this is a story Muhammad took from the Jews he took it he put it there as simple as that whatever Muhammad he say whatever the Jews says Muhammad he, he grab it he put it the Jews are talking come on the Jews they don't lie Muhammad he learned everything he have from people around him Salman al Farisi the Jews the Nasara Khadija Waraka etc this is a stupid and Aisha she confirmed that this is a lie and what kind of God he want to punish me for having some some uh, 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 piss on my leg actually okay wait, hold on if Allah don't want that to happen can't he make your penis long like a horse so you can piss far away from your body if this is an issue that's mean uh, that's mean your, your God he have a defect in his creation correct guys if God want to punish us for the, the 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 water touching our skin when you piss well that's mean he's this is his fault because it's not your choice the only way if you do that especially in the old days i mean those people they don't even have a toilet seat muhammad he used to sit in the ground he pissed like a woman when he pissed and by doing that the piss will touch you because the piss will, will will touch the ground and will hit back your skin. So Muhammad must be tortured. When I ask him, what if you are you saying your prophet he will be tortured in the grave for a piss touch him? He said, no, the prophet is different. <laughs> Hypocrisy. Hypocrisy and madness and stupidity. Muhammad he keep adding stuff to his religion. He learned about the false messiah. He had the false messiah. He heard about the antichrist. He had the antichrist. He heard that, uh, you know, that, I mean, all, all the stupid stories. Muhammad, he grabbed it from somewhere. He had nothing of his own. He's a false prophet. And the Muslim, they tried to defend that Muhammad said that whoever have orgasm first, the baby will be a boy. And the excuse is, as long as the Jew, he said that, it must be true. Did you see? Did you see the mindset of the Abdul? The proof that Muhammad is saying the truth that he heard that from a Jew. So why you accuse them that the Jews corrupt their book? They are liars. They are the most evil people, as the Quran says. I mean, Allah He made them even pigs and monkeys. Anyway, obviously Muslims, in order to defend their false prophet, they choose to take a hike in the madness highway. And that will not help you, my friend. Whoever watched this video, he will be laughing at Islam and will leave Islam. So I'm very thankful for the Muslims who try their best to defend their prophet. But obviously, everybody witness that they have a big fat failure and their prophet, he cannot be a prophet of God. He cannot, especially he claimed that his stupid answers was coming to him from the angel Jibreel. Just now, Jibreel has told me just now so Muhammad even claimed that a normal question a normal question the answer for it is coming from Jibreel which means everything he says is Allah talking you see by the way when he said Jibreel told me it's mean Allah told me Jibreel is just the delivery guy this is not the answer of Jibreel this is the answer of Allah if this is not enough to prove to you that Muhammad is a false prophet I do not know what is going to prove to you that he is a false prophet I want to say thank you guys for being here. I hope today we have a good time together. And don't forget, if you like to learn more about Islam, feel free, you can go and get my books from Amazon. They've been in your country, Amazon.com, DE, France, etc. And don't forget to subscribe to all my uh, pages in, you know, in Minds.com, uh, Patreon, Facebook, and in, uh, in YouTube. Invite your friends, share with them, download my videos. They are for free for you. I'm not a person who get upset from people downloading my videos. Actually, I encourage you because the purpose is not about having subscription for me. The purpose is spreading the truth and the truth will set you free. The Lord, he said, for free you took, for free you give. You are not required to give Christian Prince any money. And I'm not asking you to pay me. 
this is something I give for free those who help us with donation they are doing it voluntarily may the Lord bless them and those who they are not helping still the Lord blessing you we cannot bribe God by paying money in Islam you do that in Christianity you cannot when people they when people they think that God is someone we can bribe by some donation that's mean they are corrupt when somebody says to you if you donate to me God will forgive your sin that's mean he's a corrupt and that's Muhammad who said to the Muslims that if you pay me I will pray in your behalf and I will say, you know, purify you that is not in Christianity don't don't fall into the garbage the one who promised you female and male Gentile which is endless he cannot be from God this is not God God don't promise such a promise this is against his nature God is holy so is Jesus Jesus is my Lord the Christ the Messiah the Savior even in the cult of Islam he will come back and he will save the whole world it's not Muhammad it is not Jibreel it is not Allah who will save us in the end of the day and he is going to destroy the Satan even according to Islam so why you want to follow the dead man Muhammad and you will not follow the living God the Word of God the pure the mighty the wonderful Emmanuel God is with us and that is Jesus for Jesus I invite you because by him and for him everything was created and anything else is a lie never trust a man never trust a priest never trust a sheikh never trust people who claim to be prophet trust those who speak the truth about God if they are following God Muhammad obviously he don't follow God he have no God he was a man who want to take over power he wants sex he want money he want the glory of himself to the point he changed his name and he called himself Muhammad which means the praised one and this is again is against God for when you say I am the praised one then you are God Muhammad is a name of a God it's not a name of a man only God is the praised one shame on you shame on you to follow a man he replaced God even by his name he cannot be of God thank you very much for listening and watching Christ is Lord and Islam is false and until we see you soon again please subscribe and tell your friends and God bless you take care and bye bye